Hello, everyone, and welcome to Beam NG Drive. We're going to be multiplayer. Yes, we are back with the pure chaos that is a it's race to till destruction. This is our new series, if you like. Started off as a request last week around we're doing Baha Rama multiplayer. It actually turned into a wonderfully crazy thing. Uh, so we're going to give it a try at a different circuit with a proving ground circuit. Now. Things to note. First of all, because this is multiplayer, because the spinners are technically a vehicle, we're not having them as part of this circuit. They'll exist, you can still crash into them, however we can't have them as a spinning entity. But because they can lag, because they might desync, it's going to be nigh on impossible. Things are going to be weird. We're just going to have them as a solid entity. The track is damaging enough, um, essentially. It's just way easier. Um, to, to deal with with what we're doing here. Uh, the aim of the game is pretty simple. Okay, we are going to be doing a four-lap race. It might vary depending on what sort of vehicles we're driving. Um, we will see how it goes as, uh, as time goes on. But we're going to be doing a four-lap race. First one to, well, cross the line at the end of the four laps will win. Now, you can go as fast or as slow as you like around the course. You can attack the course very quickly and try and go as fast as possible. Oh, hello, Amy. <laughs> oh, you busted my radiator. Um, yeah, you can go very quickly to try and, you know, set fast lap times, but you run the risk of wrecking your car. You probably will break your car within four laps. A lot of vehicles won't survive four laps flat out around here. You can choose to try and be careful. You can choose to go slowly over some of the bumps and some of the crests and so on to try and keep your car alive, but ultimately... Yeah, you won't. You simply won't be going as fast as some others. So, it's a very tactical game. Uh, we saw it as amazing fun at the Baja Rama circuit. We shall see how it unfolds uh, as we uh, as as we go racing, as we compete. We're starting off with a race of the prodigies. So it's essentially what is it? Honda HRV, CRV, that sort of '90s Japanese smallish SUV. Very cool vehicle, actually. Very cool mod, this one. And for this setup, well, I just basically said, everybody can have a Prodigy. Uh, you could have whatever spec you want. I have got a mid-spec four-wheel drive one. Uh, Amy has an off-road one. I suspect we'll lose a wheel at some point if it falls over. Lado looks like they have a bit of a sporty one. Brazen's looks well, a bit like mine, actually, to be fair, just with a fancy... Um, Livery. Longbow's also is an interesting colour combination. Rusky's got a derby car. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Speed Beast has got a rally spec one. Not the worst idea in the world. Uh, I, You know what? I've got one reset, one, one loading of vehicles to do. And then we will be ready to get underway. Uh, we will see how this is all going to fare. So yeah, four lap races are going to, to happen. What is actually going to happen during these races is really anybody's guess. Do let me know about the volumes for the cars, because sometimes it gets silly loud or quiet. And I, yeah. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Lado's already crashed into Brazen and Amy. Here we go. Let the first race begin. Four laps around here. Who will be victorious? Uh, I don't know. But we are off. We are underway. Now, Ruskies is likely to be slow, but in theory could be quite strong. Lado's already spun Longbow. Now, we're not really supposed to wreck each other. And whoop, honestly, a lot of the time, you don't want to simply because you don't want to do more damage to your car than is absolutely necessary. Uh, however, oh, my boot is falling open. That's fine. We will use it. We will smack Rusky with the boot as we go past. <laughs> He wasn't particularly affected. Okay, it gets a bit quiet. I can up the volume of the game. That's right. Well, I, oh, Lado has turned up. I've lost a wheel. I've thrown a wheel at a Lado. Uh, well, you can have a wheel. You can have a wheel, Lado. That's fine. Uh, we are in third place currently. Amy's off-road vehicle is leading. Uh, of course, the big question with the off-road vehicle is, will it survive the uh will it survive a roll is it just going to lose a wheel if it goes for a tumble uh that is the big the big concern uh now the spinners are slightly less dangerous there is no doubt about it you do not want to hit them though they are still very big heavy concrete blocks that if you run into uh 
it's going to hurt, basically. I uh, know the other thing with this circuit is, unlike Baja Rama, there is no gentle way of taking this jump. This jump, you are just going to have to take fast, because you can't just fall off the edge there and hope you survive. Same with Dover. The, uh, the two jumps, you're going to have to hit quite fast, because there's, there's no smooth line over it. Um, so there's going to be significant damage from there. If we lose radiators, you know, it's going to be a bad time, pretty much. Uh, Amy, I thought Amy was rolling for a second there. No, Amy was fine. Engine's damaged, but uh, it wasn't the oil pan or it wasn't the radiator, so I'm fine with that. Now, we can be a little sneaky. Less sneaky. Okay, that was a bigger jump than I thought it was. We were going too fast. Oh, no. Well, we've beansed it. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Oh, sorry, Lombo. I was sorting out. Oh, I've actually completely beansed it. I have no steering left. Never mind the overheating. The overheating is the least of my problems. My front wheel is completely gone. I don't even know if I can continue to drive this. I fear we might be out here. We can use the railing to... No. Oh no, our, steering's, our steering is just dark. gone. <laughs> our steering's dead. We're in the wall. We're out. No steering. We are gone. We have crashed. We are out. Yeah, that took a heavy hit. What it took was that one... I didn't even think we were going fast enough to take that sort of a hit. Lado has had a roll somewhere. Uh, Lado is out. So if, for example, like there, I can't carry on without grabbing reverse... That means I'm out. If you can't continue on without grabbing reverse, you are eliminated. I'm going to presume Rusky's lost a drive shaft. Um, that is the end of Rusky's car. So, up at the front, Brazen. Yeah, Rusky's dead. Brazen has taken the lead, but Brazen and Amy are both missing radiators at this point, as is Longbow. Uh, <laughs> does look like Brazen's lost a lot of rear suspension. Brazen, that's suspiciously low. I'm not going to lie, that looks suspiciously though there. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think Amy's blowing up, has died, is dead, is gone. Amy's looks like it's out. Amy's gone. Uh, four laps is very doable for some cars, apparently not for the Prodigy though. Uh, Brazen with a big lead now has got to, oh god, <laughs> survive some horrific crunches. Right, they're very slidey. Very slidey. And Longbow, a big hit. Oh no, Amy's car has found some life. I don't know if it's just stalled or what happened. Speed Beast is broken and out. Where is Speed Beast dead? Speed Beast is dead down there. Lord, Lado's, Lado's quite poorly. I think Lado... Oh, I hear the ticking of a dying engine. <laughs> and there it is. It is dead. Um... Yeah, Speed Beast is, oh, a very, very wrecked prodigy. Uh, who is still running? Okay, Brazen is still going. Brazen is, is dying slowly. I actually think Brazen might be out. Look, what happened to the rear axle of that car? It's all gone. It's conked. I don't think Brazen's got any drive left in it. Longbow's to the lead of the race here. Longbow will take the lead. Amy is struggling with a hill, which does make me think... Um, ah, Amy had to remove a bumper. That's why they were stopped. Couldn't see that. Brazen's gone. Amy's gone. It is just Longbow still running. Longbow is going to take a victory here. However, uh, <laughs> it's not... Oh, that's a painful crunch over some speed bumps. It might be a victory to Longbow... But it's nowhere close to the, uh... <laughs> it's nowhere close to the four laps of this one. That is the end of a Longbow. Longbow is out, but Longbow will be victorious. Longbow takes victory. Brazen is second. Amy is third. Lado is fourth. Uh, Speed Beast is fifth. I am sixth. And Rusky ends up in seventh. Uh... <laughs> And there we go. Yeah, those were not very strong. Four laps will be fine for plenty of cars, but just not for these. Uh, the Prodigy, while very cool, um, is not very good. Not very strong, it turns out, around here. 
So, there we go. We're not going to do caravan racing. As much as fun as it would be, this is difficult enough for a lot of people's computers to run with seven people, less, or seven vehicles, let alone with 14, because everyone would then have an added thing. It's just going to break stuff, basically. Uh, so, yeah, we can't do caravans with multiplayer just by virtue of it's, it's too intense for the game to deal with. <laughs> so, yeah, sadly, sadly... There will be no caravans in this. Uh, Dr. Racer, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Uh, saying, what cars do bugs drive? Beetles. That is going to be a boo to you. From chat, and indeed, from me. Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, haiku, to begin the stream. Uh, saying, pish, bash, bosh, car crash. Uh, racing fast, Alex and Amy smash. Uh, brazen lemon wins. Well, there is a prediction. Will Brazen get a round victory? We shall see. Uh, P.S. Cult of 1P returns. Uh, we shall not be dislodging from our ruling position, except for beer, curry, chips, and ice cream. Uh, well, you know, that <laughs> that is definitely a cool right there. We've figured out how to dislodge the Cult of 1P if needed. Uh, Leotropolis, thank you very much for the donation. I saying, never got to see it last time, so can we have electric chariots? If all are varying shades of green, that'll be even better. Okay. Okay, for our next race, we will have electric chariots. And we will say that you are allowed to go with whatever spec of electric car you wish. Um, so whichever one of these chariots you fancy as a as your go-to electric version, uh, go for it. I don't know quite how many different specs there are, but is it the Vivant E? That's the electric one. That's a four-cylinder one. I'm half tempted to go for this. The Tograk. I feel like that's probably the way to go. I feel like it's the way to go. All-wheel drive is good. Electric cars, strong for this. We're all going to be in the same vehicle, of course. We're all going to be in the same boat. Electric vehicles are a good shout in many ways. I, th I feel... Um, Yeah, I'm gonna go for the top. I think I think many will probably go for that over the the, the the Vance E, but the suspension on this can sometimes get a little funky. <laughs> so we will see. I mean, it's a color choice and a half right here. Uh, oh, there's well, there's very little point in me turning the volume up for the electric car. Uh, it is going to be. Uh, yeah, not particularly exciting, shall we say. Uh, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, Survive the Descent is one of the best things uh, I've seen, and I hereby humbly ask it to return at least once every month or so. Uh, who agrees? Ooh. Ah, well, um, there is a good chance that it shall return at some point. Uh, it's, of course, you know, we've, we've done a fair bit on that map. It might be a little while until it returns on that map, unless there is a, a new map comes out. Ah, uh, then we may well see that. Um, yeah, it will definitely... It was so much fun. It was so much fun to film. Almost almost guaranteed it'll make an appearance at some point. So, <laughs> yeah, it was great fun. It was great fun to film. It was great fun to, uh, to do. So I'm sure we will see it make an appearance. Dear God, this is a terrible car. Also, I love how I just stopped at this corner and it put on the hazards. It wasn't even that crazy a braking manoeuvre. Right there. Christ. Uh, uh, Newbie Panda, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, love the streams and chaos. I would like to request the stanced Pazima. Ah, we can. We might have a race of stanced cars, actually. Someone will go in a Pazima, but yeah, we can have a race of stanced cars. We'll be bad. No one's going to make more than many laps with those, but we shall try it. Uh, Gordon Van, thank you for the donation. Saying, just curious on the drag cars, if we already had drag cars go, then how about a supercar race? Uh, we had drag cars go at Baja Rama. We haven't had them go here. This is a very different uh, sort of circuit. So, yeah, we can have a go with uh, with those. Uh, let's get everything set. Let's get everything ready. I think we are good to go. Shall we see? Shall we see what might happen? Uh, let us go. Before we do, actually, uh, Wardop, thank you very much indeed for an incredibly generous donation. A big will alert to you. I say, I've been watching for 
almost every day for years. But ready to make a live stream. Oh, welcome to a stream then. Uh, much love from uh, General Motors. Keep it up. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. Glad you've been enjoying the videos uh, for for a long time. I hope you enjoy today's today's stream. It's a very silly one. It's a good one. If you're going to come join a stream, this is definitely one of the ones to watch. Uh, we're going to get this started while everyone is ready playing Silly Buggers. Is my cart? Yep. No, I was going to has, have hazards on. It's probably pretty accurate. Um, Amy's immediately gone through a tree. That's never great. Uh, so if you're just joining us, welcome. We are doing a four-lap race around here. Uh, last one. Well, first one across the line after four laps wins or last one standing because, well, this is the proving ground circuit. You do not have to... You, you can drive as fast or as slow as you like. Oh! Well... Longbow decided we were, we needed to go faster there. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Longbow. Oh, Rusky's fallen over. <laughs> Hello. Don't mind me. There's a lot of there's a lot of tire squeal occurring. We will go through the. Uh, oh, Speed Beast has already died. Speed Beast is out immediately. Brazen leads the way. Everybody wants to push me through a corner. Essentially. Uh, I mean, my car's not in bad nick. Brazen's doing some drifting. Now, I don't want to go particularly quickly over these bumps here. I feel like this is a... I want to try and keep my car alive at the moment. Whoop. Now, we're not going to have oil pan issues at all, of course, with these cars. We're not going to have radiator issues. But the big concern is the suspension. Uh, oh, itchy eye. Oh, we won't go out towards the corner. Uh, oh, car. There we go. All is fine. All is fine. We can... Okay, I was moving again. Where is Lado gone? Don't know. Now, these are actually pretty rapid, so up here is a bit sketchy. Uh, I don't want to be going too quickly, because I don't want to have a too big of a jump, but I do want to be going quick enough that we land quite nicely. That's a good landing. That I will take as far as landings go. I'm struggling to turn. Amy's having bigger trouble than I am, though. Amy's in a wall. Uh, right, can we catch up to Brazen? This is the question now. How hard are we going to have to push to catch up to Brazen? Not very, because Brazen's found a wall. Not the wall you normally find, if I'm honest. Uh, that is not the wall you tend to go to. Uh, Dover, there is no nice way over Dover. Even nice ways of trying to save the car. You kind of just have to hit Dover and hope, which is what we were doing there. Can we find a way past Brazen? Amy's not far behind either. Uh, I don't want to go too fast down here. This is where we broke the Prodigy. So, yeah, easily does it uh, for us here. Uh, Brazen is sending it completely over these jumps. And I'm just protecting the car on this first lap. Oh, Amy has turned up in the background there. Right, protect the car a little bit. It's not going to be perfect there, but... We're going for it. Brazen's investigating the pit lane. Oh, Brazen's facing a funny angle and has thrown a bumper at us. Uh, <laughs> hello, Brazen. Hello, Brazen. I'm tempted to push Brazen, but I, I don't want to go too fast over the speed bumps because of that. That could be bad. I don't want to launch it here as Brazen is sending it. We're on to lap number two. We've still got a long way to go in this race. We're not even at half distance. Brazen is just full send. The uh, tog rack. I think Brazen's killed it. I think Brazen might have broken some steering in that one. I think Brazen's car might be out. I think Lado's out. Lado's gone. Lado's in trouble. It certainly doesn't look like it's moving. Is anybody else still moving? We've lost a bumper. We lost both our bumpers, but that's fine. Who lost a wheel? Hold on. Did someone lose a wheel on the checkerboard? I think they did. <laughs> I'm not actually sure who did. One of the yellow cars seems to have lost a wheel at some point. Oh, um, I don't know what's flapping. Are they like the wheel arches bits, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Um, something is flapping around. It's not really a problem. Like, we can deal with the flappy bits on the car. Uh, we can also spin the wheels and... Uh, <laughs> Just It just squeals its way around the circuit, basically. Brazen's moving again. Brazen is still working. Brusky's lost suspension. Uh, I think Amy might be broken somewhere as well. Uh, okay, this jump... It's, it's going to be a big hit. That's as good as it can get, honestly. That sort of landing there is, is about as nice as it can possibly... Oh, uh, be for the car. Uh, we will have a look. Uh, we'll have a look at the stricken cars as we wander around here and see what, uh, you know, if they are stuck. I mean, if anyone's still limping, we could push something around. Um, 
Oh, Amy Steering's died. Longbow's lost an axle. Uh, <laughs> Lano has maybe got moving. Maybe moving very slowly. Uh, we need to slow this down. And we will take the slightly safer route over there. Can't see Brazen at the moment. So Amy is minus steering. Oh. Amy is minus steering and in the middle of the road. Hello! I do still have steering. I can avoid it. So... Lado has got going, but is going very slowly. We're about to head on to a lap number three. Could we maybe make it four laps in this car? Rusky's is utterly destroyed. Holy crap, Rusky's car is in pieces. Lado's car is moving. Uh, oh, it was Lado who lost a wheel. That was who it was. Has Lado lost both rear wheels? Uh, Lado! Oh, I'm trying to help Lado. I probably should. I know we're in a race, but come on. I see a stricken Lado. Go on! I'm, I'm not really sure how Lado's stuck there. Oh! Lado is free! Lado is free! It's, it sounds very unhappy. <laughs> the yellow car. <laughs> the yellow car sounds very unhappy. We'll help it out. Is anyone else even moving? Brazen might still be moving. Um, Lado is still moving. Lado, I didn't even sacrifice my uh, steering on that one. I mean, we're on lap three. We've got to just complete lap four. Uh, the rules of this are different, oh god, to a normal driven till destruction. I do not have to... Um, oh, Brazen's wheels are inside out. So, yeah, I do not have to take the course as aggressively as I would normally. It's just about finishing. We've got to go faster than everybody else because uh, it's, it's a race at the end of the day. It's a four lap race. Uh, but if no one <laughs> if, if no one makes it to the finish, it's whoever goes furthest. But normally someone will get towards making it to the finish. I'm the only one that can, I think, make the finish line. Lado's car is very poorly. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we have done... I'm quite impressed, actually, with this car. The Tograk has not been good when I ran this around here before. Now, admittedly, I know I am, of course, taking it more cautiously. However, there are two jumps where you simply can't take it cautiously. Shafted that we're coming up to here, you legit cannot take cautiously. You've got to hit it at about 60. Uh, why have all the hazards come on? Car. That's not good. Eee, suspension. Please hold on. That's fine. We might have to... I suspect we're going to come round and we're going to find Lado stuck on the water. Uh, I'm kind of curious whether this can make four laps. What do you reckon, chat? Can this... Can this make it... Oh. The entire distance. We shall see. Brian, thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. I was saying Brazen is for the people. <laughs> Absolute mad lad. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Brazen is absolutely bonkers. There is... There is no... No two ways about it. Um... Oh, God, lots of understeer. Uh, and yes, if you are just tuning in, we do not have spinners working owing to multiplayer and lag and syncing issues, and it's just uh, too much of a problem, sadly, to have them running. Oh, get on the brakes. Uh, and while oh, we can be slower over like this jump that's coming up here, uh, nice try, Amy. <laughs> it's still going to be a decent size hit anyway on the landing. Hey, Brazen. Oh, Oh, yeah, you look quite poorly over there. That's very smashed up. Shall we go see where Lado is? Um, we will go have a look. I mean, Speed Beast has... Oh, God. Will have uh, cheated to get that car up there. Rusky's car is in an impressive state down there. Uh, that is for sure. Oh, where is Lado? I mean, we'll help Lado out if we can. There's no guarantee I actually can help Lado at this point. If he's stuck on that water, we've seen the... Uh, issues in pushing a car. I might be stuck on the checkerboard, actually. Uh, we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the front suspension is really bad. The, the suspension in general on this car is not very strong. Oh, Christ. That just kicked us out of that section. I'm actually impressed Lado got out of the water, to be fair. Not quite sure how Lado managed that one. Hey, Lado. I can... Oh, no, Lado is still going. He got across the checkerboard. I've got a cat. Um... Headbutting my foot at the moment. Hello, Kitty Cass. How are you doing? Lado is technically still going. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with that. 
somehow still moving. It would have been very funny if Lado had killed himself crashing into me. That would have been perfect. Oh! I did not have the steering to make that. And it was better to, to avoid the uh, section than go into the solid wall. <laughs> oh, I was hoping Lado was going to get stuck on the wall. <laughs> Lado is doing their very best to try and kill us. However, we survive. We do survive. We just got to get over shafted one more time. And we may complete... Maybe the first vehicle... In fact, if a Tograk completes four laps around here, it's a good sign. Hello, Kitty Cass. You are really wanting to headbutt me today, aren't you? Hey, buddy. Look, I'll give you a fuss in a second. Okay, fine. You know what? I can drive one-handed briefly. Not like we have to do much here. Um, go on then, Cass. You can have some attention. I know. You're starved of attention, despite the fact you get attention all day. Oh, dear. Nothing is ever enough for cats. Uh, <laughs> right. One more big jump to go. If we can survive Dover, we're kind of home clear, almost. That being said, we have still got the, the smaller jumps. But, uh, go on. Go on, Tograk. Oh. It's a, it's a horrible crunch. There's nothing we can do about it. It is just going to hit hard through Dover. But we have made it here, I think. Amy will probably try and block us. Although Amy has very little in the way of steering. So I'm not too fast. Though I probably shouldn't throw my car about like that. Because that will be a problem. Hello, Amy. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> We'll just, we'll just put Amy into a wall. Again, we not only, not only have we... Oh no, Brazen! Not only have we pushed Lado, we've crashed into Amy and Brazen now. And one more jump to go. And then it will be across the line! <laughs> I think, actually, we survived that crash as well. <laughs> it's across the line. We have made it. Four laps. And the Tograk survives. Oh, dear. That was, a, that was a run I was not expecting from that car at all. Where is Lado? <laughs> Has Lado's car finally succumbed to injuries? <laughs> I don't know. It might have done. I have a feeling. <laughs> it might have succumbed. Don't know whether it's got any steering left. Um, but there we go. It is victory. And the sole survivor for me in the Tograk. Uh, surprising turn of events. You do not expect to see that. Um, but there we go. What a run. What a run. Uh, Ross Crashtain, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, saying, why did the fake toilet clean me up it was a shampoo i am gonna give you a boo <laughs> i'm giving you a boo chat will probably give you a boo there are boos for you from all of us here um four three two seven a thank you very much for the donation sake if you haven't done it previously i'd love to see you try uh, fast four door saloons i've been watching since the days of first gear and will it roll ah oh, that's been a long a long time a long time indeed but absolutely absolutely we can have a go with those at uh, at some point we should have more than enough time for those uh up next we are going to be racing stanced cars so most specs of vehicles will have a stance option so the stanced pazima uh, is one of them uh, anything has a specific stanced spec, uh, you are able to run that. I don't know what I want. I mean, I feel like this would be cheating, but also might actually be quite bad. I doubt that, don't even know if they have one. No, they don't have a stanced spec for that. Um... Ooh, Legron? Is there a stanced Legron? Maybe... It's a custom, but I wouldn't really say that's the stance one. So you want the stance ones because they are like properly, stupidly low to the ground. Uh, and that's the point of this as a challenge. Uh, does the Ice Series have a stanced spec? Uh, no, you do not. I swear there were more. Maybe I had a mod that had more options on. I don't remember. I mean, there's always the Pazimas at the end of the day, uh, naturally. I mean, the 200BX must have one. 
don't know if I want a 200 BX uh, stance. Actually, there isn't one. Hmm. Um, we shall. 800 series. No. I guess we are, we are probably going for a busy, but just because I'm lazy and don't know uh, what other. Oh, is there a stance, Grand Marshal? There might be. There's a low rider. I'd say that counts. I'd say that counts. <laughs> and um, and I'm not going to... Uh, yeah. That's, this is bad. This is going to be a bad time for all. Uh, Connor, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. I'm saying two police officers crash the police car into a tree at the side of the road. One of them says, let's look at the bright side. That has got to be the fastest we have ever gotten to an accident site. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I don't know whether to give you a boo for that one or not. I quite like that one. I, that gets a pass from me. Um, that gets a pass from me. I'm not going to give you a boo. Chat might give you a boo. But I am not going to uh, to give you a boo there. Is anybody actually going to drive a Pazima? Uh, if not, I will take one. Just because I was expecting somebody to. Um, but yeah, we could do a somebody in a Pazima. You know, we shall see. Um, uh, also, Connor for the, or for the rest of the uh, the super chat saying other. Uh, plus, they uh, did not even call us. It was pure intrusion, in intention, intrusion. I'm definitely. I'm giving you a boo for the second part. The first part was good. <laughs> the second part, you're definitely getting a boo for the terrible pun. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, Rosie, thank you for the super chat. Say, I used to be in the circus as a human cannonball. I got fired. You are getting a boo. You are getting a boo from chat and from me. Absolutely getting a boo right there. Um, all right, it does look like no one has got a Pazima, so I might go and... I will swap into the Pazima, as that was the requested. The the uh, the requested vehicle. There's a lot of bouncy low riders going on. Right, Pazima, come here. This is going to go really badly wrong. <laughs> However, we shall see what we can do. We shall see what we can do here. I'm not holding out a crazy amount of hope for it. Especially because I'm front-wheel drive. That's really bad. Uh, yeah, I think we're all ready. Alex Anderson, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, pigeon race or a lowrider race? <laughs> We've actually kind of got a, quite a lot of lowriders going on here. Um, pigeons, I'm sure they can make an appearance. Uh, right, we're going to put this down. We're going to put this down to three laps. I don't even think any of these are making three laps, but it is going to be a three lap race. Um, and then, yeah, we will take it from there. Three laps. See who can survive the longest. See if anyone can survive three laps, to be honest. I don't think I am. Uh, Charles uh, Wickman, thank you for the super chat. Saying, why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> that is definitely a boo to you. From chat and from me. Oh, Pazima. Ugh. Hello, Ferrari. Something's already bent in my steering. Uh... <laughs> But, you know, I don't even know what we've got. Maybe it's just how terrible the car is to drive full stop. The engine's starved of oil, but I haven't even lost the oil pan. Uh, Longbow has disconnected. Hopefully we'll get Longbow back. Um, oh, God. This car is truly shocking. Uh, we Lado's torn off a bumper. I'm barely putting any power down through there. Oh, lots of bumpers have come off over the checkerboard. My exhaust runs a real... Re oh, there, there are exhausts. Exhausts have been torn off on the checkerboard here. So Speed Beast, Amy and Brazen are all quite close together. We're trying to catch and pass Lado. We're going for... Oh, well, I'm off track. The exceeding track limit has been done there for the pass. Not that it really matters. And then we're going to have to slow it down over the Toblerones here. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what's happened to Rusky. I think the Ferrari's broken. Oh, we're going to go side by side with Lado into the spinners. God, my car pulls around under power. Pfft. 
I mean, that was an attempt. I will give I will give Lado that. An attempt was made to go under the arm of the spinner. It 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 did not uh, did not work. This is where I think we're going to see a lot of dead cars potentially uh, occurring up here. My steering is all over the place. I don't even know if there's any hope of us getting a nice landing. Zima, don't die. Okay, we are alive. Speed Beast, I think, might be out of it. I think Speed Beast is dead. I think I just saw a message pop up, actually, as well. Speed Beast is gone. Uh, <laughs> that, we, we're not going to be last. The Pazima is not going to be last. I mean, I don't actually know who's still going. Brazen is still going. Brazen and Amy are miles in front at the moment. I'm really hoping... Oh, God. I'm really hoping they break down. I really hope they break down quicker than I am about to break down, because we are about to break down. Uh, <laughs> we're not about to, but we will overheat at this point. Uh, I'm half tempted to send it, but the problem I've got is I'm front wheel drive, and I'm only, you know, I'm only got, I lose a drive shaft, it's game over for me, basically. So, and it's much easier because you land on the front a lot more than you do landing on the back of the rear wheel drive cars. I've got to hope they've lost radiators before me. I've got to hope they've lost oil pans. That's the dream, really. That is the dream. If they've lost oil pans, we might be able to outlast them. But it's a bit of a forlorn hope. We're quite a long way back at the moment. Oh. Oh. Clonky, clonky, clonky. Horrible. Pazima. Go, 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 go. It looks like... It looks like Rusky might have stopped. Lombo has reconnected, so don't worry about that nameplate around there. Uh, how are... They're too far out in front. I... Oh, God. Ugh. That was a hell of a launch. I want to try I want to try and push and make up time, but I can't really. We are aquaplaning through the shallow grave. Uh, we will get cooled by water a little bit. Oh. I don't quite know what we're beached on. Are we just beached? Are we beached on debris? I don't actually know if we're beached on debris or on the... I'm not sure what we're stuck on. I think we're stuck on our own bumper. I think that's actually got us stuck there. The bumper's wedged under our car. Uh, uh, so there we go. Yeah, anyone who has lifted the suspension on a low rider is a cheaty, cheaty bugger. Um, I mean, we've got to essentially... Oh. We've got to essentially sneak our way. I mean, we're barely clearing that. With the debris I've got trapped under my car... Uh, we're in trouble. It's not going to matter. We're going to blow up at some point. Uh, <laughs> Longbow, I, all I see is an orange dot. Excuse me? Do not mind me. We are coming through. We might as well send it at this point. So, yeah, we've got debris wedged in weird places. Um, oh, no, never mind. Steering's gone. Steering's all gone. <laughs> yeah. Not only have we beached ourselves on our own debris, I've also killed the steering. Pazima's out. <laughs> it survived longer than I thought it was going to, to be honest with you. Pazima's gone. Speed Beast is gone. Rusky's got going. Um, so, Amy is leading the way. Amy's car... Oh. Amy is leading the way because I think Brazen might have broken down. Uh... <laughs> I think Brazen's gone. Crazy Taxi is dead. Lado is still running with that Grand Marshal that I think may have lost its exhaust. Um, yeah, it's can Amy make it one more lap? Oh, I mean, it sounds bad across there. Brazen died of natural causes. I'm going to say engine issues. Engine overheated on Rusky's car. I think that got beached and was trying to get free on the... Uh, checkerboard. I can't hear Amy's engine. That doesn't mean it's dead. It might still be running. Um, but sometimes the sound glitches, although it could just be coasting downhill. I guess we're going to find out fairly quickly whether it can get up this part of the hill. I mean, it still is going very slowly. It's going very slowly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think that's killed it. Amy's car is dead. Uh, John Sellers, thank you very much for the... Uh Super chat saying uh, Conf Confucius says man who runs behind car will get exhausted, but man who runs in front of car will get tired. 
I am going to give you a boo. Uh, <laughs> chat is, I am sure, going to give you a boo as well. Uh, boos to you. Now, the qu real question for this comes, can Lado, if Lado overtakes Amy, Lado will take the lead. Brazen's broken down. Speedbeast's out of it. Rusky's out of it. I'm out of it. Longbow's disconnected before we even started. All Lado has to do is overtake Amy. And considering the absolute state of Lado's car, this could be quite difficult. Can Lado make it? Can Lado make it past? Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I take it back. Lado's got clear. Lado is going to take victory. Lado. Lado will take the lead. I think Lado. Oh, it's jankily jankily across the checkerboard. The question is, can... Oh, I think it might have died. I think it's gone. Oh. <laughs> well, it needed to try and make it to the end of the lap. However, <laughs> it didn't. It, it did, though, make it about one corner later and then conked out. Lado will claim victory here. The rest of us are broken and the rest of us are out of it. Um... We, have, we lost we lost steering in our car. Lado, well, Lado's car, I'm going to guess, lost an engine. Amy's car lost an engine. Brazen lost an engine. I'm going to guess Speedbeast probably lost a drive shaft at some point over there. Rusky melted an engine. Um, Brazen melted an engine as well. Uh, <laughs> do you know, the, the, the stanced cars actually did better than I expected. I really thought they were going to do awful. And they could have been way worse. Like, they could have been... Could have been way worse than that um but there we go uh daz bam thank you very much for the super chat by the way i wasn't messaged with it but thank you it's much appreciated um fia stewards thank you for the donation saying as the track limits penalty we hereby decree uh for you to hit the stopped spinners once at 10 mile an hour either with the pazima or with whatever car you drive next and we're not bribed in any way by ladder or amy <laughs> that's a different type of penalty never mind a drive-through no you must crash once uh a rod thank you for the donation saying uh, the Lord said to John, come forth and you shall receive eternal life. But John came fifth and won a toaster. <laughs> oh, I have heard that one before, but I do like a version of that. But I do like it. So I'm not going to give you a boo. I don't think I've heard it on stream. But I'm not going to give you a boo because I do quite like it. Uh, Zog Squid, thank you very much for the donation. Um, I don't quite know how to get Longbow's car to appear. Longbow, could you change your car for a moment so I can like spawn? Actually, we're going to be sorting out cars in a second anyway. Doesn't matter. Ignore me. Uh, the Jam, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, today I was chased up a ladder by a rabbit. It was a hair-raising experience. You are getting a boo for that one. You are definitely getting a boo from me and from chat. Uh, so, <laughs> here we go. Our next race. And next race, everyone, we are going to be in drag cars. You can use whichever vehicle you would like, but you must be using the drag spec of said car. Uh, what on earth do I want to use? I mean, there is a drag bastion. It's tempting. I mean, any of the drag vehicles are going to be back. We're going to stick with three laps for the drag cars as well. Because, you know, reasons. <laughs> is there a drag Miramar, do you reckon? It would be funny if there was. But I don't think there is. Nope, there is a drift car. But, um... Oh, what do we... This is an absolutely awesome mod. I don't know if there's a drag spec of this. Uh, no, there is not. But I, I haven't actually seen this mod before today, but it's fantastic. I do love... The 360 and the 360 challenge especially so <laughs> so uh yeah that's a cool thing to see it's the 800 i just want to have a actually, i don't even know why i want to use an 800 series because they're terribly weak uh they're really not the car to go for but it's tempting i mean you can never go wrong with a moonhawk at the end of the day moonhawk is always a solid option in terms of drag car in terms of cars full stop it's an orange muscle car you know Feels like a good shout. Feels like a good call. Feels like my game is crashing. Hello, Kitty Cass, again. You've come to, you've come to headbutt. Uh, of course you have. How are you doing today? 
Um, oh, Lado has a pigeon. Uh, someone has a cover or the Shazai or whatever it is. Um, there is a there is a smaller version in there. Uh, Turnip Gaming, thank you very much for the donation. Saying good evening, Alex. I hope you're well. More driven till destruction, which means even more shenanigans, which I am delighted, of course. Um, also, I have a pun. Uh, why did Dave miss his high speed train service? He got ICE 3? ICE 3? I don't know enough about trains. Uh, I'll sit myself out and play TSW 3. It might be very it might be very good, but I know nothing about trains. Something's horrifically loud. I'm going to turn down volumes, I think, on these cars. Um, I'm going to turn my game's crashing. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you a boo turn it, but I don't understand it myself. Oh dear. Oh, brazen. Oh, no, no. I mean, technically... I guess... Te technically, you're not wrong. Technically, you're not wrong. I guess it could be a drag. They do have, like, the rocket... They have, like, the rocket buses and the rocket trucks that they run at drag strips and whatever. Um... However, yeah, I'm going to let that do its thing, and hopefully it'll never come near me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Skater Boy, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Say, hello, Alex. I hope everything is good. Uh, also, a joke for you. Uh, sure, I drink brake fluid, but I can stop any time. You are definitely getting a boo from me, and I am sure from chat. A, uh, a boo to you indeed. We're gonna go and race some cars until they fall apart. Um, let's see what happens. Which drag car will be best drag car? I want the rocket bus to go. Go on rocket bus. <laughs> I agree with Amy. Ah! <laughs> Thanks Lobo. I agree with uh, Amy's plat. Oh, the rocket bus is having an accident. Lado's having an accident, and Speed Beast has already fallen over. So if you, okay, if you're just joining us, welcome to a very silly series. It's not quite like normal Driven Till Destruction. This is a three-lap race. Oh, God. You can go as fast or as slow as you like around here. The goal is just to be the winner of the three-lap race. Um, you're going to have, you're going to want to try and keep your car alive. You can't just go flat out the whole way, because they will probably break. Uh, especially being drag cars. I don't know if Rusky has actually lost a wheel. Oh, no! Uh-oh. I tried to overtake the bus when I thought it was a safe place. It was not a safe place. Uh, we have we have been collected by the bus. But not really any major damage. Amy's leading the way. Lombo's third. I think was it Brazen in second. Uh... Lado's in the pigeon. Oh, Lombo's got steering issues. I mean, these are drag cars at the end of the day. Now, I will be taking it very cautiously over here. Because, uh, you know, I don't want to do any more damage to my vehicle. The problem with this circuit is trying to take it carefully, of course. It doesn't really matter. Because two jumps, Dover and Shafted, that are coming up, there is no easy way over them. You are going to have to hit them relatively hard uh, and hope that we don't snap a drive shaft on the landing, basically. I think Brazen might have... Oh, no, Brazen's fine. Oh, we are all good. Brazen's Bastion does look a bit poorly. Brazen's Bastion looks poorly, but we are going to overtake and we will get second place. It's only a three-lap race. Fuel shouldn't be an issue unless you rupture a fuel tank. <laughs> you know, it's only like a six-mile race. Admittedly, drag cars don't normally run for six miles, but still, you know, uh, we should have enough fuel to do that. Oh, we've lost an oil pan. I mean... We could maybe make the distance, I think. If the car holds together... I think if they don't lose a drive shaft, I think we could make three... I think we've we, we basically got to make two and a bit laps now. I think it's doable. Well, now it's going to be very loud. Amy's had an accident. 
over here. Please don't be in the middle of the road. So we're going to take the lead. Now, I am not going to be going carefully anymore. I have no incentive to. My car is terminally damaged. My hope... Oh. Is... Well, I can't go too crazy over these jumps, otherwise I'll snap my steering or drive shot. But my hope is, is I can basically force Amy to drive too hard. That's the goal. We know we're dying, but if we can force... Oh, God. Amy's car into going too hard, maybe. Oh, no. Um, oh, Rusky's found a tree. Uh, if we can force Amy's burn side to run too hard, it could maybe snap a drive shaft, snap a anything important. We're going to try, we'll punch at our radiator trying to help Amy make a mistake. It's side by side heading towards the Toblerones here. No one's wanting to yield. Amy's going to understeer into us. Oi, you sneaky bugger. <laughs> We're going to push you around. Not quite enough to spin. Like, I'm not going to be that mean. Come on, engine. Into the spinners we go. Amy's got stuck and in trouble there. The question is, and this is a really big question, can my engine hold? This is a full-on drag racing engine. Let's face it, this is huge amounts of power going through this, and it has run out of oil for nearly a complete lap. Oh, no, engine damage. Don't care. Not a problem. It's not broken. I mean, I do care, but... Oh. As long as, the, as long as it still works, as long as I can still drive, induction system damaged, also not a big problem. I mean, it is a problem, would be a big problem, but uh, yeah, we've got to try and just limp for another lap. One more lap to go after this, so we are now at one full lap completed with... No oil pan or a damaged oil pan. I don't know if it all... It could have been a small puncture. I hope it was. Uh, I don't know who is still running. Brazen looks to still be moving. I haven't got the death clatter going on from my engine yet. That's promising. Come on. We know the Moonhawk is tough. We've seen it be tough in the past. Um, oil is overheating. Can't do anything about it. Oh, we are definitely losing power. Oh, don't lose a drive shaft now, but also keep momentum up. Speed Beast is in pieces and broken and poorly. Uh, okay, we're fine over there. Just keep momentum going. Come on, Moonhawk. You can do this. You can do this. That's that's very poorly, whatever it is. That's lost many a part. Oh, no, Brazen is not moving. I think Brazen's out. Uh, I saw the nameplate before, and I thought it was still going. I don't know if Longbow might still be moving. Don't know if anybody else is. Uh... <laughs> Brazen is... He's going. Has just got free of the checkerboard. That was a nasty crunch. But Brazen is definitely hurting there. Steering issues on that car are great. Lado is amazingly still going. Oh, no. The rod bearing's damaged. Longbow's, Longbow's out. Longbow's gone. The question really relies on how is Amy doing? So... I'm so sorry, Lado. I can't stop. I can't stop. My engine is way too poorly for this. We might have... I think it's... If, if I punt you in... If anyone gets... If you get punted into a wall, I think it's fair to grab reverse. Like, that's not steering failure if you got pushed by a Moonhawk in a hurry. Because the engine is on its deathbed. Oh. The engine's starved of oil. Engine's overheating. Everything is poorly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I might have killed <laughs> Did anyone donate for me to crash into Lano? I don't think they did, but I definitely completed that mission. Piston rings are poorly. Oh, come on. Come on, Moonhawk. Oh, no, the engine's dying. The engine's really grumpy with me now. Uh, come on, you've just got to make it. If we can make it out of this pit, don't stall. If you stall now... No, don't stall. Don't stall. If you stall now, you will not get refired. No. Come on, find a gear. Find a gear that gives some drive. No. Right, I'm going to have to boot it and just try and keep the revs up. Come on. No. 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 Moonhawk. No. It's dying. It's still living. It's still got some go in it. <laughs> Come on! There's the finish line! I can see the finish line! Fly! <laughs> it's made it! 
<laughs> it's very much dead, but <laughs> now it's gone. The engine's locked. I told you, like, the second it stopped. The second it stopped. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, it went. It, it, it went. It's, it's gone, but it doesn't matter. It crossed the line, and it made it. Oh, it survived three laps around here. It looks like Amy might actually make it to the finish line as well. Uh, back there, it's the the uh, burn side. I mean, it's heavily, heavily smashed, but oh, it looks like it's in better condition than mine. I think that's had a big roll somewhere along the line. It wasn't like that when I was racing with it, uh, but. <laughs> There we go. Uh, one more jump to go. The Burnside will make it. Oh, close to going straight into the fence. Burnside finishes. It finishes in a better condition than mine in as far as uh, it still runs a bit. But that's not what matters once you've crossed the finish line. Uh, you know, doesn't matter if you break down after the finish line. Ah. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Amy had very little steering. I mean, look at the state of my car by the end of it. There's nothing left. I will go and have a look at where we ended up punting. I think only two of us. Rusky found some trees. Brazen made it further. Oh, Brazen. <laughs> well, Brazen made it further. But we got stuck up there. Speedy's finally conked out. I'm going to guess steering related. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lado. But to be fair, I say to be fair, right? We broke down after we crossed the finish line. Had I had I slowed down behind Lado, there was a very legit chance that I would have broken down there. My engine was so poorly. So I do apologize for murdering Lado. I didn't intend to murder Lado, but I'm also wasn't I wasn't gonna slow down <laughs> at that point. And funnily enough, Pigeon versus a uh uh whatever it was, Moonhawk. Yeah. I am sorry for the murder. However, we did what was necessary. The Moonhawk claims victory in a smoky, steamy mess of uh, brokenness. I think that's the best way to sum it up. Uh, so there we go. What a race. What a what a race. Uh, le Leprechaun Atar, thank you very much for the super chat. Say, so what point does a bad pun becomes so corny that it turns into a dad joke. Uh, don't think too hard about it. When it happens, it will be quite apparent. Apparent, I guess you could say. Uh, you are going to get a boo from me and indeed from chat. It's, it's been a very boo-worthy evening so far for the puns. I mean, I've loved the terrible puns, do not get me wrong. There have been a lot of boos going around, for sure. Um... Uh, Stu Warner, thank you very much for the donation. I think a dung beetle walks into a bar and says, Excuse me, is this stool taken? <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to give you a boo for that one. That was quite good. I mean, it was a dung beetle joke, so well done for managing to get a dung beetle joke into here somewhere. Um, that is honestly quite impressive. But I'm not giving you a boo for that one. I quite like that one. Uh, right, our next category of car, while I go read some more donations out, uh, we are going to be racing fast, sort of performance four-door cars, okay? Performance four-door vehicles is the way to- Hello, Cass, I know you want some attention. So yeah, performance four-door vehicles. Could be an i-series, uh, could be an 800 series, could even be one of the fast chariots, could be a bastion. Um, I was going to say, like, four-door cars, as in, like, saloon cars. I'm not going to count things like Romas and... Uh, actually, the Hopper 32 two-door version, or the Prodigy. Uh, but, yeah, it must be, like, a saloon car. It can't be an SUV, but uh, a performance four-door sort of saloon-style vehicle. Uh, I might go for... Is there a fast Grand Marshal we can go for, do we reckon? Let me go. The street tuned. Street tuned or road sport Grand Marshal is a good shout. Supercharged. I mean, it's an unusual shout, but we know Grand Marshals are tough. Uh, the other option, I mean, I'd love the 800 series, but it's not strong enough. Someone might try. The Bastion is fun. I'm going to go Grand Marshal, I think. Um, oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try it. We're going to try it. I'm going to go for road sport. Grand Marshal. 
Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, see you to our caravan fast, those spinners was, was a fun thing to watch. And uh, that inspires me to say the following. Uh, your next race must include everyone towing a caravan. Uh, the viewers uh, yearn for the carnage and chaos that will cause. I would love to. Unfortunately, the game is just not going to hold up to that. Um, it's a shame, but because we're playing with well, seven people in multiplayer, add a caravan to everyone's and some people's PCs are just going to melt. Um, so unfortunately, we can't, I don't think realistically tow caravans around here uh, the chances of something breaking is just a bit too great oh i say a bit too great is a lot too great really uh so yeah unfortunately um caravans are just not an option that we are likely to be able to see uh in this one uh some bursts are uh, some bursts are going to be a popular one um we might see caravans at some point in the future but i just don't think we can run it with, with seven caravans because you're asking Weaker PCs to deal with so much. Uh, <laughs> uh, Turnip Gaming, thank you very much for the donation. So I, sh I should explain my absurdly tremendous pun uh, I mentioned. It's about the the German third generation Intercity Express, which is my second favourite high speed train of all time. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I, I know very little about trains. Trains are cool, I just know nothing about any of them so there we go uh fia steward thank you for nation saying as a penalty for ignoring the spinner penalty and then the new penalty is on the pigeon race you must drive it as hard as possible uh, then then do a countdown while stopped in the pit lane uh, coming to the line on lap one we also add we also added five pounds as we aren't bribed by ladder okay well when we do the pigeon race we will we will do that um we will, yeah, so we've got to drive as fast as we can and then have a stop go in the pen, in, in the pit lane at the end of the first lap. If we make it a first lap, to be honest. <laughs> um, Shady Brady, thank you for the nation, are saying, punting a lado equals one pound. I know what I'm doing this round. Uh, <laughs> Tracos, thank you for the donation. Saying, why do uh, chicken coops have only two doors? If they had four, they would be chicken sedans. That one shall be a uh, a boo to you from chat and indeed from me shall we get this race underway the countdown is beginning oh go away we will go up get my camera in a silly angle right we're punting a lado <laughs> we've taken a, a a dent out of one of lado's doors oh i mean i don't know if that was Particularly intentional. Oh no! Well, we have been slightly calmed. Thankfully, with a grand marshal, it's kind of safe to do that sort of stuff with it. Uh, Amy's sunburst is a funky shape. Uh, we. I wasn't sure if cars were going to bounce around in front of me. Rusky's aquaplane through the water. Uh, it's to be expected with some of these cars. I'm not too bad through the water. Speed Beast leads the way. Brazen's all behind. Amy's given me a bumper. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just wearing a bumper like a hat. Oh, you know like those tennis, those like tennis cap things you get? That's apparently what the bumper... <laughs> I couldn't do that one better if I tried. <laughs> oh, never mind. We have our... Oh, we have our own headband going on. I think it's going to fall off, though, over the Toblerones, unfortunately. Yep, that's gone. Right. Oh, Speed Beast has made an error into the spinners there. Speed Beast has driven in way too fast and clonked that one. So... There is three Sunbursts, an ice series my Grand Marshal, and I'm not sure what Longbow was driving. Uh, careful over here. Now, this is the jump. This is the jump that's going to be a sketchy one. We are fine. We are okay. Lado has hit it pretty hard on the landing there. Uh... Oh, God, I didn't, actually, oh, I didn't actually say. We'll stick with three laps. Sure, we'll go with that. We'll go with the three laps. It seems to have worked so far. Uh, actually, these cars could probably last longer, but we'll go with that because I'm expecting everyone to be thinking that because that was the last thing I, this last race we did. So we'll stick with that one. Um, I think Lado's got steering-related issues. My lack of all-wheel drive is causing speed-related issues on the dirt. Funnily enough, we are struggling. Um... But there we go. Uh, yeah, we can't race with, with the caravans. We could potentially race with camper vans or something along those lines. Yes. Uh, we'll have a look, see what we have. Uh, but yeah, there's probably something that will be 
more usable in that regard. Oh, it's gonna... Well, we get a bit of a shudder through there. I think I'm gonna have to just send this and hope. Don't break the drive shaft. Whee, okay, we're good. Speed Beast hit the wall pretty hard. Speed Beast's in a pretty bad shape. So we're trying to chase down Amy at the moment. Uh, didn't want to go too fast over there. Lots of concerns about the strength of my car. Longbow's engine's gone. Didn't see what Longbow was in. But Longbow is out. It looks like Rusky might be out as well. We will just send our car across there. We're going to get to the inside of... Oh, God, can I stop it for the corner? <laughs> it's almost... Almost... Almost plowed straight into the sunburst. We are across the checkerboard. Someone's bumper tried to take me out. Oh, <laughs> the touring car rules have kicked in. <laughs> oh... <laughs> I can hear the turbos chirping away on the sunburst behind us as we head across the Toblerones. Uh, Rusky's out. Steering and engine gone in that car. Now, I've got to build a lead on the tarmac, really. Oh! Well, now, that's just rude at that point. I'm not letting you pass. <laughs> it would be funny if Amy stalled and broke, but... Um, unfortunately, no. Uh... The sunburst is going to have a look. Can I goad the sunburst into going too quickly up here? Oh, the sunburst might struggle to make the ramp nicely. Nope, the sunburst makes it. Um, oh, although it has switched into a wall and we're back into the lead. Uh, Lado's got poorly steering. Uh, that's fine. That's all good. We will take the lead of the race. The sunburst is still going. The all-wheel drive monster is still going. The American tank. The American tank is barely damaged after this. This is the thing. The Grand Marshal is just so strong. Uh, Lombo is in an I series by the looks of it. Uh, Sunburst is through, but can it survive another lap of this punishment? Because we're not slowing down over here. We will just send the Grand Marshal into this. We've lost a radiator now, but it doesn't matter. I'm not worried about my radiator at this point. Uh, we will make it with radiator damage from here. Who knows what in what damage we can inflict on Amy. Uh, I was hoping Amy was going to end up aimed with the back of Rusky's car. Lado's just doing celebratory donuts down there. I think Amy might have taken... Amy might have broken down, you know? Amy might have broken down on the landing because that car was right behind us and it is not there anymore. I got a really itchy nose. Going on. Speed beats. Oh, I've lost an oil pan. That's bad. Uh, we will make it to the finish line, I should think. But uh, that was not what I needed, really. Oh, we're taking some more clonks over there. Is Amy's car working? It's not got up in chat that it's broken. No, Amy's car is moving, I think. It has got going. Can we survive to the end of the race? That is the question. I'm hoping we... At oh, don't fall over now. That's the last thing we need. Oh, we have a lot of debris in the spinners. Carefully does it. Uh, oh, Leo, thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. I just thought I'd come in. I got to sneeze in a minute. Body, can you please stop having random malfunctions? I could do with no distractions for the remainder of this race. Come on, Grand Marshal. All you've got to do is make this jump, which you do... No, didn't need that, because I, you know, we're allowed to node grab it and flip it. That's fine, but it's time lost. Amy is not that far behind in that side. If my engine starts cutting out, we could be in real trouble here. Uh, <laughs> Brazen's lost all the oil. <laughs> oh, so what, that would make the game incredibly tricky if you had oil pan failures and like oil was dumped on the track and suddenly there was less grip everywhere. That would be quite funny. Uh, so there's the remnants of a longbow. Lado's in turn one. We saw Rusky was out. I don't know where Brazen stopped. Uh, Speed Beast is out. I think it is pretty much just me versus Amy left running. Oh, again, oil starvation. Grand Marshal, I don't ask too much more of you. If you conk out after the finish line, that's fine. But just get to the finish line, pretty much. Oh. There we go, and we will take the final jump. It is across the line, and we are, <laughs> we are finished. We have completed it. <laughs> I 
think Amy might be out with steering failure anyway. <laughs> what a way to finish. What a way to finish. Lombo's in the mud. Amy is out with steering failure. Um, we are the only car running at the end of that one. Speed Beast died. I don't know what from, but by the looks of the damage, oh, a lot. Definitely steering failure. Maybe drive failure. Um, occurred in that one. Brazen lost the oil. It's actually not too bad looking conditioned car, but it's, no oil is a problem. And Lado had no steering and was doing celebratory donuts. Um, Rusky, I think, lost a drive shaft at some point. Um, but there we go. What a way to finish, honestly. My engine is technically still running as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, but the Grand Marshal does it. Rear wheel drive beats the horde of sunbursts that turned up. Uh, beat the horde of sunbursts. It did it. Oh, what a wonderful drive. What a wonderful drive from the uh, from the Grand Marshal. It's a tough old beast, this. I mean, it always has been. The Grand Marshal has always been incredibly tough. <laughs> and then we managed to take a wheel off doing a celebratory donut. <laughs> oh. oh, dearie me. Well, there we go. I mean, that seems like the best, just the best possible outcome from all of that. Oh. And next race, it will be the pigeon race. Yes, we will have a race of pigeons. You are, you are allowed to... Well, we're going to extend it. It has to be a three-wheeled pigeon or widgeon. You can take whichever one that you wish. I will take the data. Because I like the widgeons kind of a bit cooler. But, uh, yeah. Uh, right. Now, before, before we go into this one, I am just going to very quickly... Uh, very quickly, go and grab a drink. So, just give me a couple of minutes. I will be back with a drink, and then we shall continue. The mayhem, everyone can get their car sorted out, and then we will continue. So, yeah, because I'm a fool and forgot to bring one up. What on earth have I come back to here? Oh, I was expecting them to be bullying my car, but no, my analog stick just wandered around. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm 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 honestly rather surprised by all of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't quite know why the analog stick decided to have a wander about, but there we go. Um, yes, we are ready for the P2 
Pigeon and Widgeon, the three wheeled showdown. I, I don't don't know how well this is going to go, but we shall see. I know my punishment for this one is I have to drive the whole thing flat out, and I've got to take a stop go penalty in the pit lane. That is if I survive a lap. No, <laughs> because I'm somehow Lado. That's not a three wheeled car. <laughs> Right, can we get everybody um, back over here? We'll s we'll stick with a three three lap race. I think it's ambitious to see if anyone's going to make it, but we'll go with a three lap race um, and see what happens. It's not really very effective. Um, not very effective at moving that whatsoever. Uh, so, have we got everybody? Uh, we'll get Lano sorted and Rusky's on exploring the map. Sure. Uh, call me Chris. Thank you very much for the donation saying, what do you get when you cross a Lano and a German dinosaur? Uh, God. Uh, Leader Hosensaurus, I think, is how I am <laughs> pronouncing that one. <laughs> sure. Sure. We can go with, we can go with that. That's Lado's new name from now on. Uh, Leader Hosensaurus. Uh, Finland Ball. Thank you very much. For the donation uh, saying can we get a breakfast stream this Sunday uh, we haven't had one in a while uh, it's possible um, it's more likely to have a Friday stream uh, be a uh, uh, a breakfast one at some point there will be breakfast again do not fear there will be breakfast at some point um, just yeah don't quite know don't quite know when as of yet we shall we shall see um, but yeah breakfast is good fun uh, we are off and underway. Now, I I had to go... F <laughs> Sorry, praise... <laughs> oh, no. Our car is locked up somehow. What's happened? I mean, I, so I have to go flat out, but my car has got, like, crash-welded with Amy's. So, yeah, the, um... The part the, for, for missing a penalty... Oh, God, I have to be flat out. I'm not allowed to take it cautiously. Problem is, is this is not very easy to drive flat out. Um, things have gone wrong. We immediately murdered a poor brazen. Uh, oh god, this thing is seriously quick. Uh, all right, oh, no, we're fine. Hey, longbow. Uh, I do not have the grip in this. <laughs> there is very little grip. Amy's fallen over. Uh, we're going to take a line through there. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Don't go visiting. Water's a problem. That's fine. All right. Can we get part? I'm just going to send it over here and hope. Oh, no. The sending it in hope route was a bad... Oh, I'm very... I'm very out. <laughs> oh, there's no... Yeah, no, I'm out. Me and Rusky both died in exactly the same way. Well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm out. Oh, Rusky's engine died. My steering is completely gone. Well, that, that was the send it route. And that's what happens when you send it. My whole, the whole front wheel assembly's come off. Like, that's... That's definitely not supposed to be dangling down there. It, it still gets turned. Like the, the steering still turns something. <laughs> it's just not the wheel anymore. <laughs> well, the FIA stewards did decree. I had to go for it, and, well, we went for it. And that is what happened. We technically... Well, we served our penalty. Um, Speed Beast leads the way with a widgeon. Chased by Lano. Lano's lost the bin! The bin's come off. Brazen's still going, despite being a funny shape. Uh, what has happened to Brazen? I guess that roll may have... Uh, may have deformed it along the way. Um, so, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Speed Beast has lost a bit of ground. Uh, oh through all of this. So it will be Lado leading with the Pigeon. Speedbeast Witchin in second. Amy has got the van. Pigeon in third. And then it is Brazen versus Longbow up here. Brazen still has the bin attached. Longbow's almost fallen over, but all is fine. Up here, Speedbeast went for an overtake and had a spin instead. And <laughs> is visiting a wall. Um, that's, that's fine. Everyone is still going, though, towards the end. Well, not everyone. Two of us are dead. 
a good number are still going towards the end of the first lap. Uh, Jared, thank you very much for the donation. As, I, as always, enjoying the content. Oh, well, thank you very much. I am I am very glad to hear. I, I do love this format for Driven Till Destruction, or Race Till Destruction, I guess you should say. Uh, I very much enjoy. It's good fun. Um, we've had some very good races. This one here was not one of them for me. This one here has gone particularly poorly. Uh, Lado's Pigeon is across the jump quite nicely. Speed Beasts is not. Speed Beasts has had an accident. I think Speed Beasts might be out. I think that might be the end of the Widgeon over there, unless they can drag it about. But I think that's. I think that might be dead. Um, we shall see. Amy is across. The, Amy's having a big wiggle and a spin. <laughs> it was a very low speed crash into the wall there for Amy. Is it dead? Nope, it can get. So you're allowed to node grab it. If it gets wedged like that, you're allowed to node grab those. You're allowed to unflip them. Uh, Longbow lost a load of time this lap. I don't quite know where. Looks like it's had a big shunt somewhere against a wall. But Longbow is still going. Speed Beast is, uh, is poorly. Lado is going to have to negotiate the widgeon chicane <laughs> that, is, that has gone on here. Well, Lado's lost a lot of speed. Is Lado's car okay? Either Lado's taking it very easy, or that car's a lot poorlier. There's no sound coming from it, but I think that has to be a bug. Brazen's car is being sent, and Amy's fallen over. Longbow's going to make up a position here with the stricken pink machine. Brazen is through the water and out the other side. I think Lado's broken down. I think Lado is out. So Lado led the way and did have the lead. I'm going to guess oil pan, an oil-related issue right there, has uh, left Lado's machine conked out. Here comes Brazen about to take the lead of the race. Or oh, bump draft and Lado. Oh, our Team Yellow going to try and help each other. What is this? Teamwork in a foul race video? No, no, never mind. <laughs> Engine is gone on Lado's car. Uh, Lombo's up to second. Speedbee's lost steering. That's not a surprise. All the Widgeons have had a terrible time of it. Uh, basically, the Pigeon is the way to go. But all three are close together on track. Brazen leads across the Toberones. Lombo's caught up this lap. Lombo's had a good, good start to this lap as we head towards the... Uh, it's just a chicane now, essentially, just to navigate through the uh, through the spinners. Amy has almost taken. <laughs> well, Amy's taken the van part off of the pigeon van. That's something, I guess. All right, the shafted jump. Will it claim any victims this time around? Surprisingly, not killed any of the cars. Although two of us died long before we even got here. At this point, here we go. Brazen hits the jump. Survives. Longbow hits the jump. It's okay. Amy hits the jump and has turned it into like a long bed. <laughs> a long bed pigeon. That's okay. It's still on. Um, it's still connected. And not like that's a massively important component. Uh, Longbow's crashed into a bin. Longbow had some <laughs> had some troubles with a bin. That's dumped the green machine into third place. Uh, I mean, these three are guaranteed a podium. There is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the rest of us are very, very out of it. Oh, Brazen's gone very wide. It is about to lose the lead of the race. Amy takes the lead with the big machine, and Brazen's fallen over. And Longbow, <laughs> oh, Longbow's nicked the bin. <laughs> not only was the falling over not bad enough, but Longbow stole the bin as well. Brazen, Brazen did well to keep the bin for as long as possible. However, the bin is no more. Brazen falls to second, and both Brazen and Longbow lose a whole heap of time. So. Amy leads the way. But the real question is, one more lap to go. It's one more lap around here with three-wheeled vehicles. Will they survive one more lap? A lot of things can go wrong between now and the finish line. How are these two still going? They're still moving. Longbow's still moving. Brazen, I think, is struggling with steering at this point. Brazen's car does look very unhappy. But they're still going, at least. The speed bumps. These can do terrible things to cars. I think Amy has some steering, serious steering issues uh, right now. Uh, that's clonked its way over the speed bumps. But it has made it over. Oh, that doesn't look healthy on the old steering front. Okay, I think Amy has some serious steering issues. How about Longbow? <laughs> I think Longbow has some serious... I think everyone has some serious steering issues at this point. Longbow is across the speed bumps. And he's still going. 
Brazen, I think, has... Oh, no, not conked out. Brazen might have had a spin on the jump, but Brazen has even got even more steering problems right there. No, Brazen. No, Brazen. That's that's not that's not the track. That's not the track, Brazen. <laughs> you can't use reverse with your cheats. Brazen's eliminated. Brazen's out. We saw that. Uh, you're unfortunate in that I was happening to watch. But uh, Brazen is eliminated uh, with steering failure at that point. Um... Oh, Lombo's engines expired over there. Oh, well, Amy wins. Amy wins at this point. The question is, can Amy make it to the finish line? Um, indeed, the steering on Brazen's was very poorly. We saw that one. You probably weren't aware we were watching, but we saw that one. Um, can Amy's pigeon make it to the finish line? It doesn't seem to be steaming, but it is possible that uh, that stuff isn't sinking. Although that normally does. I can't say I've ever seen that not sink. But again, we're playing a multi. We're playing a mod to have a multiplayer version in a game that was not intended to have multiplayer. It's possible that stuff might not quite be sinking properly. But uh, uh, there we go. Um, uh, brazen reversing is only okay if, for example, if you get hit by another car, if you bounce on a landing and spin, you can reverse them. But if your car physically can't turn and the only way to make a corner is to grab reverse, then you are counted out with steering failure. Uh, so, for, for example, what, what Brazen did into turn one is counted as steering failure because there was no extenuating circumstances in that. The car was just not making the corner. Um you are allowed to grab reverse. Like if, for example, you bounce off of here and sp and spin, that's fine to grab reverse. Like as Amy is about to demonstrate, you can grab reverse from that because that's not failed from steering related issues. That's that's had a had a spin. So yeah, you can you can grab a reverse and that is all good to go. I don't know if Amy's car mm. might have failed from Amy's car might have some steering issues here. I don't know whether that can actually get back on the track or it might be stuck on the mud. Um, does it have any steering to the left is the real question we've got going now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if that's got... I don't think that's got steering. I don't think that's... That's not got steering. That's out. That's out. Yeah, no, that 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 is... No, that doesn't count. If it makes it to the finish line, it doesn't count. That's steering failure. Amy is out and will not make it to the finish line. Um, so, there we go. Um, that is the end of uh, the end of that one. It got close, but the steer it's the three wheel cards. You always put so much damage on the front end. It's going to happen. Oh, I say eventually. Um... Yeah, you are you are you're gonna get some damage. It's just yeah, so much damage goes on at a single front wheel that uh, that is an issue. So no one makes it. Amy got close. Amy got close to the uh, to the finish line, and uh, will take a comfortable victory. Uh, we died immediately. <laughs> Basically, uh, our little widgeon is very poorly. It just it hit that immediately and just disintegrated the front wheel. Rusky blew an engine up. Oh, hey! I'd say I'd say that's quite well parked, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and and there we go. Um, yeah, basically, as I said, the rule the rule has, has always been yeah, no no reversing in order to replace the steering. So yeah, if if you know if you if you spin it on your own accord or whatever that's fine you know you can reverse and recover from that but uh if you if you can't physically make a corner without doing it if you have to do it to replace the steering then yeah that is the vehicle counted uh counted out if i did i didn't think i did that with the tog rack i can't remember to be honest it was like an hour ago and i've been talking nonsense since i don't actually remember so <laughs> if i don't think i did if i did and no, i didn't intend to um but that car didn't have steering failure at any point anyway that was still perfectly steering um, by the finish line after crashing into everything it was still perfectly fine so that, that didn't have a steering issue I might have reversed at some point but it didn't have a steering issue uh, in that car uh, the only thing I'd say is I, I didn't I slammed on the brakes to avoid going into the spinners but that wasn't the steering failure that was me carrying too much speed um, but uh, yeah 
Uh, right, what do we get to vehicle-wise? Hold on, let me just have a scroll black through here. Uh, do, 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 do. so we did pigeon race. Um, what have we got? I'm just having a little bit of a look. Ah, we were going to do... Uh, what have we got? Um, we were going to do kind of like a motorhome race. I don't know if we have a motorhome. As such, uh, so there was a mod for one, but I don't. We don't. We definitely don't have it here. Do we have any good alternatives? I mean, we can always go for. I mean, it's always a fun one. I'm gonna say we're gonna go with the H series. With one of the big passenger vans. Okay. Uh, I would recommend a four-wheel drive one. You can try one. It's not quite a motorhome, but uh, it's going to be pretty funny at the end of the day. Uh, I'd rather have these than the box trucks, I think, um, for this. We've raced the ambulances before, so we'll go with something a little bit different. Uh, we'll go with... So you've got to have one of the big passenger vans uh, from the H-Series uh, I am going to go for... Do I want the long wheelbase or the shorter wheelbase? Ooh, question. I think the long wheelbase might be the way to go. Um, whether that will happen or not, I do not know. But we shall give it a try. And we shall see what happens in this. This one will probably go crashy, shall we say. Uh, FIA stewards, thank you for the lesson, saying, penalty for Lado and Brazen on the race after the pigeons. Lado must crash into Alex, and Brazen must crash into Speed Beast. Remember, we are not bribed by Lado, Brazen, or Amy. <laughs> hmm. Right, so, I mean, so if, if Lado doesn't crash into me, does that mean Lado fails, if I can somehow manage to not have Lado crash into me at some point? Maybe. We shall see. We shall see. Um, <laughs> Turnip Gaming, thank you for the uh, donation. So I finally purchased uh, Grand Turismo 7 on my PS5. I'm enjoying the game so far. And I find the, the PS5 controller very comfortable to use. And I like the force feedback on the triggers uh, when I drive a car in GT7. Yeah, I like the PS5 controller. I've never been a big fan. I mean, I've had a PS3 and a 4. Uh, I never liked the controllers at all. Um, the only P well, PS4 controller I got on most with was one that was designed like an Xbox controller. I do like the PS5 controllers, though. I will give them that. That is a nice controller. I still prefer the Xbox layout, but the uh, the PS5 controller is very good. Big improvement over the previous ones. Big, big improvement. And, yeah, the the, the feedback in the triggers is, is pretty good. Um, but, yeah, it is, it is a very good controller. Definitely the best one PlayStation have made, I reckon. Uh, Wox the Fox, thank you for the donation. Saying, hi, a big fan here. May I suggest a compact cars race? Uh, also, I wanted to make a joke about the quality of post services, but I'm afraid you won't get it. <laughs> oh, a fitting joke. I, I'm, I'm tempted to give you a boo, but it's just far too true for me to give you a boo, if I'm honest there. Um, yeah, just far too fitting. But you absolutely can suggest a compact car race. We will hopefully uh, have a go with that at, uh, at some point. Uh, Kaiser Wilhelm, thank you for the addition. Saying, Alex, I hope you are doing well. Uh, I've been an intermittent viewer since the GTA Downhill Chaos on the Xbox 360 days. Oh, bloody hell, that's a long time ago. I remember the faff that was to film. Uh, and become more invested as you started playing uh, with Beam. Love the content and uh, wish for many more years. Well, certainly... I hope to uh, to be around for many, many more years. Um, but uh, yeah, God, I remember the faff trying to film Downhill Chaos on a console. It's got so much easier when I could do it on PC and you could teleport and uh, <laughs> all of that. But uh, yeah, oh, well, I'm glad you are enjoying the beam. I'm enjoying filming the beam stuff at the moment. It's, it's fantastic fun. Uh, I think we are ready. Well, that has gone for a box van rather than a passenger van, but that's fine. We'll just actually we've got to try and um, I mean technically you can live in 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 Lado. We can technically live in any of these. Uh, oh, Lombo has just turned up. Uh, sorry, Lombo, you'll get you're getting the next round. Lombo's had some connection problems today. Uh, my goal is to try and make sure Lado can't crash into us. Uh, oh, we're going. We'll go with three laps again around here. Sure, screw it. Uh, we'll go with a three lap race. Oh dear. <laughs> Things have gone wrong for Speed Beast and for Rusky. 
we are going to... Oh, hey, Rusky. <laughs> Contact has been made through through all of this. We're going to have a go side by side. Now, so Amy's, Amy's got the off-road spec, which you would think is the better spec to go for, but the off-road specs, because of their lifted suspension, the wheels often become quite vulnerable, and the wheels often fall off. So... Oh! That was a big clonk. <laughs> Damn, that was a big clonk indeed. Hello, Brazen. Uh, oh, <laughs> we're going to help Amy wide. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited until that was, like, fully loaded up and tried to tip it over. Rusky and Brazen are having a bobbly, laggy crash into each other. Uh, oh, the spinners have been nudged. No, no. <laughs> I am not going to get pushed through there. Thank you very much. I will sit on the brakes and I will be awkward through there rather than let you uh, push me through that section or try and make it too wide. We are at the other side with the lead of the race. Yeah, we have got to survive three laps. The van should do it. In theory, they should make it. They'll probably make it relatively, like, pushed relatively hard for three laps. Uh, even if the radiator goes, they're unlikely to overheat in that time. The oil pan would be the concern. But we saw a drag car survive, like, two laps without an oil pan. A van should survive longer, basically. So we'll probably get away with running these quite hard here. Uh... Speed Beast might already be out. I'm not sure. That doesn't look like it's moving very much. Where is Brazen? Brazen's not too far behind. Um, no, Speed Beast died. <laughs> Speed Beast drowned. <laughs> might be the first drowning. I mean, that is... You, you see some firsts when it comes to race till destruction. When you've got other vehicles on track, you will probably see some weird stuff. You are likely to see strange things happen, and in this case, it was uh, Speed Beast ending up in the drink. I'm having a really tough time deciding how hard I should push. The last thing I want to do is take a jump and shatter a drive shaft when I've got a big lead of the race, but Brazen's not going to be going slowly here. As I said, these are strong vans. These are going to take a battering. So I think... It's going to be a game of... Oh, wow, Speed Beast really has been sent to the water. Oh, and I've beansed it. We're out, I think. Can we drive? Have I got a diff? Oh, this van is garbage. And that is what I really didn't need to do. Wow, Speed Beast has absolutely buried it. Uh, oh, we're very broken now. Oh, the whole rear axle's fallen off. <laughs> not even it's not just a wheel the whole axle has actually come out of the mounting points um problems have occurred a problem i didn't expect has occurred i am crab i am crab van crab van is bad crab van is not easy to drive here <laughs> crab van is very poorly here Ugh, uh oh Pfft. um Crab van. Okay, we ch that could have been very awkward. What happens if I get the crab van wedged in the spinners? Does that... Do <laughs> I mean, everyone would have to avoid the spinners, uh, I guess. I mean, we are, like, we can still drive, right? If Brazen's van dies, we will technically be able to win. It's a big ask to have Brazen's van die oh yeah that i got a bit carried away with the driving i just carried too much speed did not realize the lack of grip and we spun tearing a wheel off on a bush very silly mistake to make when we had a quite comfortable lead we're still functioning we're still in second if this can somehow come home in second i will be mighty impressed with this uh where is amy that is the question and can brazen's van have a breakdown somewhere. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, we're allowed to, of course, node grab it and flip ourselves over. Whoopsie. Uh, right. Oh! Hey, Amy. Yeah, don't mind me. Flat van is, well, it's kind of flat van. It's not quite as flat as flat van was. It's quite squished van. Uh, 
<laughs> Flatvan has returned! Only a slightly iffy sequel to Flatvan has returned. No, we must stay ahead of the pink menace. We can do this! Two-wheel drive, wrecked Flatvan. Let's just keep going. Yeah, Lado's lost a box. Lado's lost his marbles, I think. Uh, we are still fine. Lado, I think, has broken down by the start-finish line. <laughs> it is! It's the italic van. <laughs> oh, no. Careful with the speed bumps. Hey, Lado. Lado's in, in a bad way. Oh, we're in a bad way. We are just permanently drifting van. This is horrific to drive, I should point out. This is so, so uncontrollable. Oh, we're going to need a miracle if we're going to win at the moment. I am legit concerned what the checkerboard is going to do to this vehicle this time around. Last time around, it tore the axle off. This time, it might do more damage. There's my wheel. I have so little control over where this van is going. Oh, in some ways, I kind of wish it would just pull the whole axle off and be done with it. I don't know whether that would be easier to deal with, to be honest. Uh, Amy is there. Hello, Amy. I'm going to guess Amy's van is poorly if it's not simply cruised past me at this stage. Uh, oh, save it. <laughs> oh, Because it's front-wheel drive, when it starts crabbing, you can just boot it and it sorts itself out. Uh-oh. Uh the spinners do become somewhat awkward. Oh. Yeah, the spinners are very awkward to get through there. Um, but we're fine. Come on, you can make this. Brazen's going to win it, though. I've eaten my own bumper, I think. Uh, I tell you what, Brazen's broken down now. Brazen doesn't look like they've stopped moving. They might have just rolled. If Brazen has stopped moving. Could there be a glorious moment for Flatvan? Not really Flatvan, for weird Crabulon van. Uh... <laughs> Uh, oh no, Brazen's nameplate is further around the corner than it looks. Speed Beast, well, Speed Beast was buried in the water. I don't quite know where Rusky is. Not seen Rusky yet. Amy's taking a shortcut. I saw that shortcut right there. Uh, oh, come on, three wheeled menace. No, bad Amy. Do this? Oh. There's too many trees. I mean, I got pushed down here through no fault of my own, so I'm going to say screw it. <laughs> I didn't intend to come down here, but uh, <laughs> we would have been fine to make it had we not been bullied for no goddamn reason on that one. Uh, we are... Yeah, I mean, it, it still works. That's the best thing about this, is it does still somehow work at this point, uh, which is honestly quite remarkable. The fact that this is still even moving, uh, it is impressive. But, yeah, <laughs> it's it's a barely working van at this point. We will cross the finish line. It will be third play. Brazen's taken a big whack somewhere along the way. However... This might be one of my favourite Driven Till Destruction vehicles. <laughs> this is probably one of my favourite Driven Till Destruction vehicles we've ever run. Uh, admittedly, the start of the downfall was a driver error. I just spun it uh, and it lost a wheel from that. We should have had a fairly straightforward win realistically in this. However, that all being said, the fact that this somehow made it in this condition is all the more spectacular. I think Rusky's gonna... No, Rusky's not gonna fit. Well, either that's lagged and... I don't think that should be quite looking like that. Or it's been node grabbed across the line. Th that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Speed Beast drowned. Rusky's was a mess. We made it to the finish line. That's the important bit. <laughs> um... Yeah, that is that is the important bit. Brazen's van ended up in a funny shape as well. These were great fun, actually. These were a great request. Um, the, these they always have been exciting. These vans. Ah, but there we go. 
There we go. What a wonderful... What a, what a wonderful vehicle. I think, actually, our next one is going to be the compact cars. Uh, I'm just looking through the... Uh, through through the requests. Um, yeah, so our next race, we are going to say you can run what you like as long as it is a compact car. So I guess that would count. The Piccolina will count. Amy will drive that. The Covert will count. I don't think that's on the server. I think that's on my end. Um, the uh, Shizay, Ch 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, will also count, which is what I'm going to drive. I don't quite know what one I want. I mean, I want the rotary. But, probably not a bad idea. That's tempting. Super turbo, always a good... Ooh, all-wheel drive, slip diff, race suspension, bad. Twin charging, good. <laughs> all-wheel drive is good. Um... I mean, the rotary is awesome. I uh, don't, don't really want to track day one, because they're going to be too... Should we go amateur rally one? I think that's going to be the way to go for me. It's not likely to be perfect, but I think it is... I think it is the way to go. Mostly for... I guess I could put... There's technically no rule... About... Me using the rally spec, but we're gonna have a rotary engined rally car. <laughs> yes, a GT exhaust is what I want. A rotary engined tiny rally car. Now, this is the stuff dreams are made of. I don't know how the game's going to do the sound. I hope it sounds awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'll see what the others have got for this uh, this mayhem. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's probably not going to be the quickest thing here. Oh, it looks like Amy's had a similar idea to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the craziest, fastest car out here. The hope is it'll be quite strong. Oh. The, the, from what I remember running this car, it was surprisingly good uh, in terms of in terms of survivability. But uh, <laughs> we will see. Um, oh, we can stick a turbo. You've got to have a turbo with your rotary nonsense. Um, somewhere... Do, do, do. Uh, engine! Stage 2 performance parts? Yes. <laughs> Intake. Maybe let's not go stage 3 because I feel like I'll blow my engine up. Uh, where do I do? Uh, let's, let's maybe find a performance radiator. High performance radiator. Probably a good shout. Because, uh, you know. <laughs> I feel like that would be that would be useful, uh, right? I mean, it's not gonna be the most powerful engine in the world still because it's quite a small rotary. It should be good enough. Oh, I don't quite know what's uh, what's occurred to uh, to Amy. Now, I, am, I am not cheating. There was no rule. Anyone can build their car if they want to go a bit silly with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just chose that uh, that I wanted to put a nitro... Uh, no, nitro. I wanted to put a rotary engine in my uh, in, in my little car. We're going to go three laps for this one. Uh, some of these will make it. Some of these might not. I am not actually sure. Uh, we will see how it... Uh, how it all pans out. Um, brazen. <laughs> so I will say, uh, Lamp, thank you for the uh, donation. Uh, so I dare you guys to race front-wheel drive covert with a catch. All of you drive in reverse. Well, Brazen's already doing that. Uh, I don't know whether we could do an entire race, but um, 
Yeah, Bra Brazen's already trying that one. I don't think it would be as exciting as you might want it to be. Is the only downside to uh, uh, to that one. We can give it a go. We can have a go with the reverse race, though. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we can we can see how long it works for uh, Luke. Thank you for the uh, Saying love the content, Alex. A great way uh, to wake up to fail race shenanigans here in Australia. Uh, can't wait to get some merch too. Ah, oh, fantastic. Um, yeah, ho hopefully it's all good getting out. Uh, out to the far-flung far reaches of the world. On the merch front, we are getting some bigger sizes um, soon for those that are interesting in in buy merch. I don't think it's going to be too long until we have some uh, some bigger sizes and we've got some restocks uh, for the um, 2XL hoodies, I think. I can't remember exactly. Probably should have said anything before making sure I got all the facts right. But we've got some bigger sizes and so on on the way in, uh, in the near future. I think Amy's just had a game crash, so we shall just give it a quick second, because I've actually noticed this time around. Ah, if you are just joining the stream, welcome. Welcome all to some Raced Till Destruction. Uh, the way this works, for those that uh, might be slightly confused, might be just joining, uh, we are racing around the Proving Ground circuit. Uh, we are trying to complete a three-lap race, but of course, this is a highly destructive circuit. Uh, so... Essentially, uh, while it is... Oh, Amy's dropped her computer out the window. The things were going that badly, were they? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's a three-lap race. Now, you could try and run flat out the whole time, but this is a this is a track that breaks your car. Run flat out for three laps, there's a very good chance your car will break. So you're going to want to try, and you're going to want to slow down a bit for some of these jumps, for some of these damaging sections. But, of course... You go too slow, and somebody will boot it, and will, in theory, get further around the circuit, and will just be setting faster lap times than you. And if they can make their car survive, it's a really tactical game. It's a real challenge, a real, yeah, kind of risk versus reward. To try and figure out um, how brave to be. We've had a half decent day so far uh, in terms of uh, in terms of performance. We've had a couple of wins. We've had a couple of bad times, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, on the most part, we're not done too badly. This round is going to be curious. Uh, bra oh. Brazen has become one with the, uh, start gantry. <laughs> Brazen has a covert. Lado has a modern compact, which is actually not very small compared to everything else around. But, uh, you know, we have the... Is that a tog rack? It is, it's a tog rack. Uh, we have Lombo with a picker leader. I'm very surprised. Amy was going to use one of the ch chizays or whatever they are. Um, wait, no, it's Ru sorry, it's Rusky with the Piccolina. Longbow has the Ute, the tiny Ute. I was very tempted by the tiny Ute. I have the tiny Raddy car with the rotary engine, and uh, Speed Beast has the Mr. Turbo Covert, which is very cool. Hey, Amy's finally got connected. Um, yes, keep buying, <laughs> keep buying merch so Lado has to stay in the basement. <laughs> oh. And Lado did that did that joke all on his own. That was no input from us. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, keep more merch you buy, the longer Lado has to stay in the basement for. That's the way to go. Uh, <laughs> that's the new thing. That's that's the new thing. Ah, oh, turn it. Thank you very much for the donation. I say the only complaints I have with PS5 controller is I wish Sony put a different internal battery uh, for longer uh, playtime. But apart from that, I agree it's the best PlayStation controller uh, Sony has made. Yeah, the batteries the battery's not awful, but I do see what you mean. I I very rarely ever play with controller on like wireless mode, so it's not too doesn't bother me too much. But yeah, um, it could be a little bit better. Uh, but it is yes, it's a, it's a, it's a much a much much improved controller. Right. We are ready. Excuse me, Lombo. Uh, <laughs> we are off and underway here. Brazen with a U-turn uh, to start. All of the noise of the rotary. Oh, Amy's done a very big flip immediately. Uh, I have... Oh, I've lost my radiator straight from the off. Well, that's not good. I think Brazen might have broken down. <laughs> That's not great. Lado shot off to the lead. Well, I have no radiator, so I feel like there's almost no point in me going too slowly. Oh, dear. A rotary, I feel, is going to overheat quickly. 
that being said, we have gone for a spin there. Uh, my steering's still fine, so that, that one there, there's no problem to reverse. It's, uh, oh, okay, that was a dangerous overtake. That was a really risky overtake uh, on that one. Uh, can we, my main goal now is just catch Lado. We've just got to catch Lado. I mean, Lado is definitely in a much better place than me in terms of this race. In terms of trying to win a three-lap race. However, uh, we are going to... There's a gap forming through the spinners now. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> it's a bit top-heavy. <laughs> oh, no! Shazay, can you please stop rolling? It's quite top-heavy. It has fallen over completely on its own accord. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a problem. That is a problem. We're just going to send it up here and hope. No. The hope was a bad one. It's... I mean, the car's astonishingly still okay. Somehow this car is okay with that. Uh, I'm not 100% 100, 100 sure how the car is okay after that. We've rolled it twice on the first lap. Lado's got a massive lead at the moment. Uh, come on, we can't let Lado do this victory. Oh dear, I've lost a front. Oh, my front wheel has completely come off. I, I have a feeling things have gone poorly. Oh, thank you, Brazen. Much appreciated. Oh, I don't think I have any steering left. I'm stuck in the mud anyway. <laughs> I think I'm stuck in the mud without any steering. Can I pull myself out? Oh, no. We are free. We are out. Speed Beast is gone with a half shaft. So Speed Beast does not make a lap. Can we live longer than... Or can we overtake anyone? It's going... I'm going to struggle with either the speed bumps or with the checkerboard. They're the real concerning places for us. We are now so low to the ground. Amy looks like they might have died in turn one or on the speed bumps. Is Amy moving? Is Amy out of it? No, Amy's lost it with the... Oh. Yeah, Amy's lost a wheel, so we stand a chance of overtaking Amy here. If I can get across the speed bumps. Ugh. We have made it across the speed bumps. But we are close to overheating at this point. <laughs> oh, we're still going. The little rally car that could. It could overtake Lado. Brayson's dead and died a watery grave. Oh, no, stop falling over. <laughs> All you've wanted to do is roll. <laughs> Car, please, please stop falling over. Please stay on your wheels for long enough. Please cool down. Cool down through a watery... Oh, that's a bad... That's a bad hit on some rocks. Uh, now... If I can pull my car out of here, we technically work, but I think we're beached. I think we're beached. For no, God, don't go that way. The rear diff in this car is terrible. I mean, my temperature's gone down. Rusky has got free, but I think we're dead. I think we're out of it. I think we're a beached and wrecked car at this point. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, the shallow grave, I think, is claimed. I've tried everything I can. Our steering is still good, but we are beached on the rocks. The engine is fine, but the car is beached and stuck. Lado is still going. I think it's Lado versus Longbow now for the lead. I think, no, actually, Lado might be out steering over there. Nope, Lado's found some steering. Longbow, oh, has had some big crunches. I think Longbow's out of drive. Oil pan and dead for Rusky. 
Longbow's out of drive. Longbow's gone. It's Lado who might be able to survive this, I think. Um, all Lado has to do is finish the lap and Lado will win. <laughs> I mean, has Lado killed themselves trying to kill me? I might have actually freed my car. Nope. <laughs> We're still beached. <laughs> oh, Lado has freed Brazen. Speed. Oh! Oh, that's. Uh... Lado's had a weird accident. And it worked. You're allowed to no grab it and put it over. That, of course, is absolutely fine. Never know what's happened to Speed Beast's car. Speed Beast's car is all sorts of wrecked. I think some desync and laggy damage. Brazen. I'm going to guess engine is dead. So, yeah, okay. So, Rusky's engine died. Oh. That is a funny shaped car. That is still going on, barely any steering. So Speed Beast is right there. We're on the shallow grave. We saw Longbow is dead by the tabletops. Amy is dead on the speed bumps. I think Lado might have killed it. Oh no. <laughs> I think Lado's had a spin. Oh, Lado's. La I, don't, I don't know how much of that damage is accurate. Ah, uh, Lado's out. Lado's out with steering failure. So, there we go. Lado is gone. Lado will not make it any further. We couldn't make three laps with the compacts. Everyone is broken. Everyone is out. But Lado will claim a victory in this one. Uh, Lado... Lado will claim a victory here. Uh, I can't move. My car is beached. <laughs> It's beached because it lost a wheel, so it just falls in every pit. And that is the end of that. Uh, so, yeah. We are out. I mean, Lado wins. Lado gets the furthest. We don't have anyone actually cross the finish line. But in the race till destruction, that is, uh, yeah, the way it goes. So, Lado claims victory. I think it was a longbow second, Amy third in that one. Ah. <laughs> what a race. What a what a what a wonderfully silly race. Sadly, my rotary powered my rotary powered car was not so great. Uh, can we? It's actually curious to see. This looks like I don't know whether this will actually work. I suspect it won't. Because I don't think it's going to go fast enough. But it almost looks like you could roll it doing a J turn because it's. Uh, Really not not very stable. Oh. Right. Our next race. I don't know if this is going to work. We were gonna try a race, so you've got to use a front wheel drive covert, but we're gonna drive in reverse. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we will give it a try. We will give it. We'll give it a try. Um, I'm gonna go for a police car because police cars generally quite strong on here. So yeah, front wheel drive cover, and we're gonna try and run the course in reverse. Now you're not gonna go particularly quick. I'm not a hundred percent sure how it's gonna work, but we shall try it. We shall give it a try. Um, and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got the learner driver one. Of course, Brazen will stick with that. We will put on the, on the, on the lights, naturally. We'll have a little... Don't know whether you want a powerful car for this or not. I feel like... I feel like a powerful car might be bad. I could be wrong, but we shall see. Uh, Brandon Sawyer, thank you very much for the super chat, saying dump trucks would be epic if time allows. Oh, we should have time. 
This we're gonna do a two lap race with this uh, because it's going to be iffy. I think is the kindest way that I can put it. Uh, <laughs> if if we somehow manage to survive two laps, I would be quite impressed, really. Um, but uh, yeah, we will go with a a two lap race for this one. We have got me in a police car, brazen in the driving school car. Amy has a race spec, drag spec one. Oh, it looks like a drag spec one, actually. Lado has a skid plate car. Lado's going to spend a lot of time spinning around. Also, the skid plates are going to hit the checkerboard first. That's going to have a bad time. Speed Beast has a normal one. Um, or a fairly normal Corvette. Longbow has a racy spec one, and Rusky has a derby one. I don't even know what you're going to want for this. I don't know what's going to be strong here, what's going to be terrible here. We will find out as the race progresses. I'm getting the feeling the answer is going to... Uh, uh, blind luck, I think, is going to uh, to be the way it goes. Uh, a a will alert. Fiddle and ball. Thank you very much for the donation. Saying we need an all 200 uh, SX, or the 200 BX round. Yes. Absolutely, we can have a go with one of those. And uh, easy peasy, thank you for the uh, donation. So I know caravans are a no, but how about something with a bin attached? If you lose the bin, you're out, even with a functioning car. Ooh, I don't know if anything else other than the pigeon gets a bin. Don't know, don't know. Maybe, we can have a look. We can have a look, or I can have a think. Um, yeah, we can have a, I'll have a think. I'll have a think if anything else gets a bin other than a pigeon. Um, I guess you could maybe like add something to the roof of some of the cars. Yeah. Okay. It is time. It is time. Four. It's a drag spec car for Amy. That's going to be interesting. We will get uh, underway here for a reverse race. Brazen with the speed. We've actually got quite good gearing for this in our car. Brazen's had a spin immediately. Uh, oh. We are to the lead of the race. Amy is going to take the lead and spin. Uh, everyone else has had a bad time. Our gearbox is really good for this, strangely enough. I mean, like, I think, like, this is actually a better way to take Shafted and Dover, because you land in such a way oh, that you're, you're damaging the rear of the car, but that doesn't really matter, right? The rear of the car can get damaged as much as you like. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the driving much because it's all the front. Lado's buckled a wheel uh, in all of that by the looks. I don't know whether that's accurate, though. That could... if That wouldn't be going that fast if that wheel was that buckled, I don't think. We shall see. Lado's also got a half-decent gearbox for this. Oh, you've got to be so delicate with the steering. <laughs> Car does not like it at all. Funnily enough, cars are not designed with rear wheel steering, with just rear wheel steering in mind. They get a little bit twitchy. Uh, have the spinners been... Oh! The <laughs> Hold on, there's a blockage in the spinners. We can blame Lado for that one. Lado's made a funny roof line on their covert. It's that's definitely not the shape the covert was intended, but it is the shape Lado's has ended up. Right, oh, I'm slightly out of position. There's going to be a lot of falling over about to occur. Amy has shot to the lead of the race. However, oh no! Oh, Lado is there. I had to go on the brakes, and this is bad news for me. Uh, could have been worse. Nah, uh, it's just some crashing sounds have occurred. Oh, camera, camera. Oh, bloody camera. This is the problem with this, is the camera doesn't really like doing what we're asking it to do. Camera, sort yourself out, please. Oh, yeah, if it starts, if the camera starts wobbling around, you're in trouble. Ugh. Right, we have got... We have fallen to the back, unfortunately. Oh, God, come on, camera. Stay facing that way, please. Uh, 
Lombo is weaving all over the place, as often does happen with this kind of racing. Oh, I'm going to bounce off the bloody wall. Uh, it was going really well for us, and then it wasn't, <laughs> basically. We are side by side with Lombo. We're hoping for crashes and breakages for some other cars. Lado's fallen in a mud pit. Lombo's um, fallen in a mud pit as well. We are going to spin this one. No, not quite. We get away with it. Um, that is fine. We will jump down here. Ooh, that's, I mean, not a great line. Um, but never mind. Amy's had an issue somewhere. Brazen's also had an issue. What's going on here? Oh, it's that jump, I think. has maybe caught some cars out. Uh, <laughs> That bump. Has Amy blowing a radiator in reverse? That's quite impressive, to be honest. If you have if you have managed to do that. But it's only got one more lap to go. Uh, uh oh. No, stay away from that. Ugh. Too much steering and you spin. Too little steering and you, well, you hit the thing you're heading towards. Uh, Amy fell over on the speed bumps. We do not fall over on the speed bumps. That's fine. Over the next jump we go. God damn it. It was going... We, we were making ground, but a silly spin has been a problem for that. Um, however, I'm hoping I'm certainly not going to be the only one having done a uh, silly, silly spin along the way. Oop. Come on. Easy does it. Through there. Amy's had trouble in the water... Maybe still having trouble with that. I'm not sure that car's too happy with life at the moment. We uh, we take the lead. It's us versus Brazen at the moment as we head across the checkerboard. It is uh, oh, the police car versus the driving school car. The driving school car is to the inside. Oh, gets the lead briefly. Oh, there's been some shenanigans. <laughs> Unintentional pit maneuver, but it was effective. It was surprisingly effective. Sorry, Brazen. Lombo is there now. It's really difficult to film this race because the camera just wants... To... Funnily enough, the camera doesn't want you to do this. So it's really awkward spinning it around to uh, face the right way or anything. Um, so, yeah. that's We can't really see what's happening to... There's no quick way. Um, oh, hey, we blew the drive shaft on the drag car. Oh, no! Shouldn't have hit that. Shouldn't have hit that at all. We've got spun on a bumper. That's put Longbow and Brazen right back into the fight here. Come on, police car. Accelerate. Accelerate towards the shafted jump. Hold on to that lead. Speed and power was not the way to go. I am losing control of my car. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, it's fine. We've landed it. We have made it across the shafted jump. I don't know where anyone else is. I can't really look. Uh, this is all of the uh, effort is going into keeping this vehicle um, in the right direction, or the direction I want it to go. I mean, it, it's taken some damage, but it's mostly superficial damage, really. Mechanical damage-wise on this car has been very limited. Very limited indeed, which is... Uh, which is good. We will back off the jump. Oh, that's a problem. I think we might be out. Is there any way out of the mud? Nope, there is no way out of the mud. I think Lombo's broken and I am sunk in the mud. Uh, Lombo's engines died. I mean, generally when I do this, we allow node grabbers to get stuff unbeached from mud. Um, it's not going to matter in terms of the win because Brazen is is going to win. My car is not disabled. It's just a front-wheel drive car in a mud pit, essentially. Um, but there we go. Um, Lado's car is out of living nectar. I don't know whether that's oil or fuel at that point. One of those things has killed it. Um... 
Brazen is going to win. The Learner Driver is going to take a victory. The Fail Race Police Department uh, got stuck in the mud, basically. Um, and then, yeah, Lombo followed us. Like, Lombo did exactly a carbon copy of us. Just spun on landing slowly into the into the mud. And uh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, God, my game nearly died. Oh, yeah, we were unlucky. We were unlucky with a bounce on the landing there. Uh, it just bounced and spun us into... Uh, it, oh, the oil pan has gone there. No. <laughs> and we will take a chunk. We lost, yeah, lost the oil pan at the end. We'll take a chunk out of it. Now it looks like it, it just looks like a derby car at this point. Um, it is It is just a derby car at this point. Uh, is Rusky's car still going? Oh, no, Rusky's car found the same, uh, same mud pit as all of us. For some reason we just found that mud pit at that point. Uh, Speed Beast is still going. I don't even know what's happened to Speed Beast's car. How has that got that broken? Uh, <laughs> don't even know. <laughs> Lados. Oh, Lados is a... Oh, that was the spinners, wasn't it? Um, Lado got... She got... Crashed it into the spinners. So, yeah, that's what, that's what happened to Lado. Amy's ate its drive shaft. Just all the power of a drag car. Um, was uh, was a bit too much there. Uh, neck... Neck... Trop Oh god, how am I going Necro... Necrop... Necrop ticks? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not doing a very good job of it. But thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, so I finally made it to a live stream. Ah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. So next race, execute order 66 on ladder. Well, the next race we're racing dump trucks. So quite possible. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, quite possibly. Brazen's gone for a... I actually have to say... The damage, my cover literally looks like it's been in a derby. Like, that's just like a proper demo derby damage level at that point. Brazen's car also looks like they've been in a, They don't look like they've been through a driven till destruction circuit as much as they look like they've just been through a derby. Looks like Rusky is actually going to make the finish line as well. Has Speed Beast's car given up the ghost? I think it might have died. No, no. It doesn't look very controllable. Uh, <laughs> um... Here we go. Rusky is going to limp it across the jump. Oh, Rusky's having a pit stop. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you can just put it in the garage. Just, just <laughs> There you go. Rusky's done. Rusky's done for the day. Oh. And there we go. My car does still run. It's still fine. Oh. I, mean, I don't know what's going to happen here. What I've done is remade a covert. Damn it. We have got stuck. I didn't know. Ladder's obviously like node grabbed it and the game's just decided it's going to sit there solidly. It's made a funny looking car for me. Uh, <laughs> it's made a fun. Oh, yeah, actually, was it the 200? It might be the 200 BX race first and then we'll have the dump trucks. I do apologize. I can't remember. I don't actually know which one came in first. Um. But, uh, yes, we might have a go with the 200BXs, and then we'll have a go with the dump trucks. He, he, both races are likely to be very, very good fun. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Um, right, for our next race, for our next race, I don't know if Speed Beast is... is uh, Speed, Beast did, Speed Beast did make... Oh, there we go. Speed Beast did make it to the finish while we were prattling about with what was left of that car. Bloody hell. Uh... <laughs> Oh, the, okay. Dump trucks did came first. So, we will be racing either dump trucks, cement mixers, any of the really heavy-duty T-series. Uh, they are all fair game, basically. Uh, I'm not, you're not allowed the fire engine, but... So, yeah. Cement mixer, dump truck, box truck. Uh, uh, we'll say those are like the three, or the hauler. I think they're the three that we can use. I'm not going to allow just normal trucks. Uh... What do I want? I'm going to go dump truck for this one. We're going to have a bright orange dump truck. But yeah, you can have a cement mixer if you want. Um, this is going to be chaos. 
Like, that's just... That's what's about to befall all of us. My game is slightly dying as well, but there we go. So, we have the worst colour combination of any truck ever. Uh, we have... Oh, I can... All the diffs, actually. Rear, rear, centre diff. Wait, hold on. Rear, rear, diff. Front, rear... Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'll leave those ones locked, and then I can lock the... I'll lock what's needed when it's needed, basically. Uh, trust me, you do not want one of the ramp... Uh, the, the ram trucks because the plow will just get stuck on the floor. Uh, <laughs> you don't want them. They're a fun idea, but they don't work here. Uh, they really do not work on this stuff. Uh, so I would not recommend them. Rusky's got one, but it's really not a good idea. Uh, so the drive shaft on the T series has got considerably stronger. Could fail. The bigger concern, though, is the fuel tanks falling off or the. Um, Steering. That's the one. I got there in the end. Uh, yeah. Fuel tanks or steering are most likely points of failure with these. They are notoriously bad for steering failure. Uh, it's going to be pretty pretty chaotic. Speedbase literally got the trucks we said not to use. It's dump truck, cement mixer, box truck, or hauler. Uh, <laughs> it's got to have something interesting going on. Well, I guess there you go. Okay, that's fair enough. Excuse me, Longbow. No. no, I don't think I'm going to win this tug of war. There we go. Go back! <laughs> right. I'm going to go over here now, and we're going to get out of the way. Okay, I think we are all ready. Three cement mixers lead the way. Rusky has trying the plow truck, but I don't think that's going to work. But we will see, I guess. Longbow has a box truck. Speed Beast has a hauler. We are ready to go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let the mayhem begin. It's a three lap race. These trucks should make three laps. These trucks absolutely should make three laps here. Lado. Lado. I would be careful in a very top heavy cement mixer. Because, uh, well, they Unfortunately, no one was really going fast enough. Yeah, a top heavy cement mixer, it's probably not a good idea to cause trouble. Because, uh... It's very easy to top... To put that. Topple one of those over. We'll just let Speed Beast's truck go. Can't be bothered to fight it at this moment in time. Uh, Amy has a pretty big lead, but it is with a cement mixer. The chance of that staying on its wheels is pretty slim. Uh, Jesse Outlaw, thank you for the uh, super chat. So, what's up, Ferris crew? Dump truck uh, mayhem incoming! Yes, lots of mayhem is about to be incoming. Uh, Rusky's ram truck is not going to enjoy life through the shallow grave, because the nose is going to get caught on everything. We can basically just be flat out through here. I don't really have any concerns for the, uh, the dump truck through any of that section. Uh, we are to the inside of Speed Beast, almost. Not quite got an overlap. We will have to fall into line. Oh, Speed Beast is going to clatter into Longbar. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now everything's going to shake, rattle, and not quite roll. Oh, we've climbed on the back of Speed Beast. That doesn't help matters. Uh, oh, then Speed Beast has got bounced wide and will have to get realigned for these spinners. Uh, Wheezy, uh, thank you for the uh, super chat. Uh, say, hey, how's the racing going? The racing's been good. We've had some very good, we've had some exciting racing. We've had some eventful racing. Vehicles have fallen apart in funny ways. All has been pretty good. All has been pretty good so far. Uh, and now we're in dump trucks. So, you know, it's likely to be silly continually. Uh, Longbow's lost a step, but that's not a fuel tank. The cement mixer survived shafted. We... Bounce heavily. However, we also survive shafted. The question is, can we catch Amy? So, three lap race. Most of us are not too concerned, I wouldn't have thought, about durability of the trucks. The steering might take a hit, but I think everyone's going to be taking it pretty flat out here. Um, my hope... My hope is I can catch Longbow, who is bananaing quite badly, and that Amy falls over. The cement mixer is more difficult in 
It's very top heavy. So the chances are Amy will have to be slower in places to try and, well, funnily enough, not fall over. Brazen's already fallen over once. Lombo is starting to shed bits of box truck around the way. Lombo's going for lighten as we go approach. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have got a good run down here. Lombo is weaving all over the place. Uh, we are through the air. Lombo's almost in the finished gantry. Uh, we make contact. Amy's had to slow down so much for turn one. Me and Longbow had turned up. Uh, <laughs> Longbow wanted to go for the gap that we were aiming for. We make it work. <laughs> we blocked Longbow's line past. It's sneaky, but it's fair. We had a good run. We're allowed to go for that one. We will take the lead of the race. So, the cement mixer... Had to lift. It had to lift through the corners. It was always going to be its downfall. And uh, we have got the lead of the race. Now, it's not impossible for me to fall over. Um, oh, okay. Amy's lost her drive shafts. Never mind. Amy's out. The cement mixer's gone. Uh, so that's why it was slow down there. Uh, it had lost drive. So there is no more drive. Uh, Brazen's lost drive as well. So two drive shafts are down. I mean, that's slightly alarming, although that is both cement mixers having lost drive. None of the dump trucks have lost drive as of yet, which is a good sign for us in the dump trucks. Uh, Longbow's banana. We're, no, we are quite banana, actually. It looks worse on the box truck because you've got the box is flailing about. This isn't. Like, the, the dump part is just solid metal. I mean, if it falls off, it's funny, but... Uh, it, it doesn't fall off very often. Uh, Amy definitely wins the uh, cement mixer duel because the others are broken down over here. Uh, uh oh. Well, we punted a bit of. Well, it could have been brazen, could have been Lado. I think they were both yellow. So, <laughs> yeah, cement mixer class goes the way of Amy. In Longbow, by default, wins box truck class at this point. Um, I don't know where the ramp, the ramp truck has ended up. That seems... I haven't seen that for a while. And that's, that was always going to have a bad time around here. But it's still circulating. It's in fourth at the moment. Uh, we will clatter over there. That's no problem. Radiator's still fine. Uh, there is... Oh, there's the back... Is that the back of Rusky's? I think that's the back of Rusky's truck. There is Brazen falling over and minus a drive shaft. So Lano is still circulating. Uh, I think... Or has broken down at, like, turn one, perhaps. No, Lado is still moving, I think, because the nameplate seems to be wandering around. Uh, we will jump over there. We've got... Oh, Brazen has disconnected. We have one more lap to go here. Can we do it? I mean, we have a tremendous lead at the moment. What has happened to Lado? Ooh. Oh, okay, Brazen has got to go. Lado, oh, Lado's lost a drive shaft. Lado is out over here. Lado is going to try and uh, make it down here. Hello. <laughs> Lado might actually overtake Amy. It does look like Lado will pass Amy and move up a position because yeah, they, they are on the same lap. We have lapped both of them now. Lado's lap was not massively quick, but we'll get slightly further. We made a mess of that. It looks like Longbow is going to be second. It looks like Longbow will be second. Rusky will be third. And Speed Beast, well, depend on if those trucks live or die, really. I mean, this, like, this dump truck is surprisingly strong. It is bananaing a bit. And I mean, I don't think it would pass its MOT or equivalents somehow. But, oh, even a terrible line through there, and it's still got more than enough steering to make that work. <laughs> The T-Series is legit quite tough these days. The T-Series is legit surprisingly tough. I think, well, Rusky and Speedbees might both have broken down at the same point. So there's Longbow. We can see Longbow in the distance. Um, probably about a third of a lap behind at the moment with that box truck. The other two look pretty out of it. Come on, dump truck. Do not spit out your drive shaft now. That would be unfortunate, really. <laughs> Uh, oh, Speed Beast is gone. No more steering. We have eaten bits of a yellow truck. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Ruski's died with a drive shaft. I'm going to just not chew up more of that. I can no grab it out of the way, but because we're multiplayer and it can be a little bit iffy when it's other vehicles, debris, I'll just yeah, grab reverse and deal with that. We've still got more than enough steering, so that is not a problem. Uh, oh, they've both died at the same point, basically. Speed Beast is going to get third here. Uh, oh. Um. <laughs> I, I guess sure. Um. We're going to have to take a slight alternate route past the roadblock of trucks. <laughs> I mean, we're... Honestly, we're in very good condition. Outside of a little bit of banana ring of the uh, chassis. The steering's still almost perfectly straight, as far as I can tell. Yeah, pretty much. Um... That's a, that's a very strong performance from a truck around here. Very strong. And I wasn't, I wasn't even really trying to save it. Uh, <laughs> I was not, not even really trying to save the truck. We are flat out over most of the jumps. We will claim a victory here. Three laps survived for the T-Series. And barely any issues at all. It's bananaed slightly. It smashed a windscreen, but that's about it. That's probably the cleanest a truck has a uh, vehicle has finished one of these. The truck will do it. Longbows is not. <laughs> Longbows is not quite in as good a condition. <laughs> oh, Longbows is across the line. It took half of Speed Beast's cab, I think, or bonnet with them. That is. Uh, that is a mess. That is an absolute state. We win. Lombo takes second. I think it is Speed Beast just gets third ahead of Rusky. And then it was Lado and Amy. I'm not quite sure where Brazen was. Brazen has to go, unfortunately. Oh, but the trucks were good fun. <laughs> for all those that were asking, I hope that was what, uh, what you hoped for. I'm sure who it was. Who was it who donated for that one? Oh, it was Brandon uh, Sawyer uh, who asked for that one. I hope they were as good as you wanted them to be. I hope they were as good as you wanted them to be. My truck ended up in just very good condition by the end of it. Ah, oh. and Lombo's disconnected. I don't know whether intentional or <laughs> I don't know whether Lombo has to go or has just crashed out of it. Um, but anyway, our next race, our next race, we will have. 200 BXs. You can use whatever 200 BX you like. However, it has to be a 200 BX. Uh, where have they gone? Here it is. Now, there isn't a rally spec one. There's not an all-wheel drive spec one. None of that to deal with. What do you want? Do you want speed? Do you want the demon? I mean, it's tempting... Or do we want... I mean, the tried and tested... We're actually nicking Amy's job now, basically. Of, I'm just driving police vehicles. Um, the police cars have just been really, really strong. Um, <laughs> yeah, Order 16 doesn't mean make Lado disconnect, but it works. <laughs> That's always a way to do it, if in doubt. Uh, if we can make if we can make Lado crash. Um, oh, Lado's got the same idea. Lado has the same idea in this one. I mean, it's a solid plan. It is, it is a solid, solid plan. Speed Beast's got the demon. Lado, Lado has joined the Fail Race Police Department. Rusky has kind of a race car. Longbow's connected. Amy has a derby car, I think. Um, now. Oh, hey Speed Beast. That's a lot of turbo noise. We're going to stick with a three-lap race. Spanish Speed Beast is off. Yeah. I mean, we can always spin Lado. <laughs> However, we shall wait for the uh, race proper to commence, potentially. Um, we will see. We will see what might transpire in this race. Um, yeah, the 200BX is actually a tough car here. It's, it's a lot stronger than you think it is. The wheel axles are very strong in this. The drive shaft could be a bit suspect. Um, we will have to wait and see. 
on this. Oh, I think Lombo's got back connected again. We will give it a try. We will... We will give it a try. Oh, heck, can I get my... Ah, oh, there we go. You need... We need the... It's got pop-up headlights. Uh-oh. Officer Lado! Actually, hasn't really done all that much. <laughs> Officer Lado has taken a chunk out of the door, but... Cars, this is what I mean. This is a surprisingly tough car. It can take a hit like that. It really doesn't care. I mean, I'm not going to start like this, but... Yeah, it can take a surprising battering. So, three lap race. I reckon... I reckon the police cars will make it. I reckon Lombo might make it. I think the race cars might struggle, but we will have to wait and see. Uh, you never really know with this stuff. Um, you never you never really know. We shall give it a try, basically. Uh, I think we're ready to go. Everybody seems to be connected. Let's start a countdown. Let's see what happens, folks. <laughs> Who will be able to survive three laps with the 200 BXs? Oh, wait, this is a auto car. Now, we do not have to be flat out. As I said at the start, we can choose what pace we want to go. And my pace is a little bit careful. Hey, Lados! Lados wipe themselves out trying to kill me. <laughs> does that count as taking out Lado? If Lado takes themselves out on my car? I feel like it does. I feel like that was a fantastically tactical goad Lado into doing something silly. And uh, Lado did something silly. Speed Beast has had a tremendous wreck. Rusky's got a bit of a lead at the moment, but the hope is Rusky's going to take too much damage early on. And Rusky might slow down. Like, as we said when we did this last time, these races are not about winning by the biggest margin. They're basically about winning by the smallest margin. You want to go as slow as possible while still leading the race, because the slower you go, the less damage you're doing to your car, right? So, yeah, a lot of the time you'll see cars, if they get a big lead, will just slow down to try and uh, minimize damage. Uh, it sounded like Longbow had a clonk over some of the bumps back there. Uh, Rusky doesn't quite get a slide around the top here. Now, one concerning part, of course, is the shafted jump. These are rear-wheel drive sports cars. The chances are oh, this, this could be damaging for a drive shaft. Through the air we go. Rusky's flipped. Rusky skidded on their roof into the wall, and we will inherit the lead of the race. The police car makes it to the front. Uh, <laughs> Grim saying it definitely counts. I'll take it was actually a surprisingly good takeout, really, on, uh, on Lado. I could have done it better if I tried, really. Uh, managed to got Lado to roll and disintegrate into the... Uh, oh, God, into... Not disintegrate, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, no. induction. Induction system, don't care about... Exhaust, don't care about. Induction system, you might care about, because I'm going to lose performance slightly. But in this car, the most significant thing is making sure it's still running. So, the police car leads. Longbow with a more normal sports spec is in second. And then it is Amy... What car was Amy in? The Derby car, I think? Is currently sat in third. Uh, right, oh, I'm gonna want to go a little bit careful. Oh, that was bad. Didn't really land where I wanted to on there. Lombo is sending it at the moment. Lombo is not taking it easy. I am at the moment. We are we are a little bit careful. Oh, Lombo's had a bounce over the speed bumps. I mean, I know this car can take some punishment, but also we still got another lap to go. If I can have my car in the best shape possible, going into lap three, that would be good. The derby cars aren't as strong as you want them to be. Really, in all of this. So, we're in, we're in a pretty good place. The induction system could cause me grief. Uh, so, it's not going to stop me, it's not going to take me out. But if I lose the turbo completely, we will be very low on performance and we might not be quick enough to stop Amy and Longbow from coming past, basically. So I don't want it to die completely. It doesn't seem to... If it was going to die, I think it would have died by now. It doesn't seem to have died. So, yeah, we will see what happens. Rusky's still running. I think most cars are still running at the moment. Uh... Lado may well have bent a wheel axle in that roll. Oh, that's a scary jump. <laughs> it's a scary, scary jump. 
But we are okay. We have made it. Across there. Where is Amy? You can't see them. We've pulled a little bit more of a gap to Amy at the moment. So Amy's hoping our car gives up, basically. Uh, I think we might have a little more performance than the derby car at the moment here. However, performance is irrelevant if I lose a drive shaft at any point during this. So Amy's main hope is that we blow the car up. My main hope is that we can nurse it home. And if we have a lead, I said I don't need to drive too hard. Although I'm worried... I'm worried we're going to start losing power at some point, which is why I actually want to build a bit of a lead. If the induction system, if I lose the turbo, I want a bit of a lead to fall back on if I start losing a lot of power. It looks like we've built a gap. It looks like Amy and Lombo have lost a bunch of time this lap around. That's a nasty crunch. They're a lot further back than they were. We head on to the final lap of the race. One more time around the Proving Ground circuit for the 200BX. Officer Lado. He's not very far. Uh, he's about to get lapped. Officer Lado's had problems here, it would seem. Uh, uh, Officer Lado might have gone a bit swimming, I think. Uh, oh, no. No, I take it back. The nameplate is further in the distance. I thought it was buried. See, you can tell how strong the 200BX is by the fact that as we head on to the third lap, everyone is still running. I know we had Speed Beast disconnect, but we have had every everybody is still going. And this is the only car that it looks like everybody will get onto a final lap. Whether they all make it, I don't know. However... Oh, come on, don't die on me now, car. Anyway, whether we all make it, I don't know, but no other race has had five cars onto the final lap. I think most we've had finish is three. So, <laughs> yeah, that is uh, quite an impressive oh, turn of events. We have slid up to the wall and ding that a little bit, but that's fine. Nothing bent, nothing broken. We can run the car. We're still getting to 70 down here. That's actually really good going. Uh, we'll, we'll just drop it down to about 60 for the jump. Oil pan damage, don't care. Uh, oil pan damage, fairly minor. Um, oh, yeah, it's it will kill the car, but it doesn't matter. We will finish the race before the oil pan damage will kick in. Uh, we have got the last big jump. This is the last damaging jump, really, for the car to tackle, and it is over the other side. No problem at all. Rusky might have died at turn one. Can't see. Uh, it's definitely not right, this car. Oh, don't do that. We don't need to lose more momentum and time than absolutely necessary, but as we head over these final few bumps... We will, well, two more jumps to go. If it loses the drive shaft now, I can probably roll it to the line before anybody can close in. Final jump, and we will claim victory in the 200BX. The police car wins it. Does it have enough power? It still has enough of an engine to do a celebratory donut. Victory goes the way of the police car, and it looks like I got the call right. It looks like... We will claim victory, and Longbow, in the more normal spec, will come home in a second place. There is Longbow. Fell back a little bit at the end. Longbow crosses the line. Longbow's had a roll and got some, some bent wheels and, and broken... Oh, that's a lot of bent wheels, but Longbow makes it in second. We have the lights. Yeah, the lights even survived. Who would have thought? Even the pop-up survived. Amy's third with the derby car. Actually, the derby car looks in pretty good condition. <laughs> All things considered, Rusky is out. I'm going to guess engine or drive shaft on that one. Might have lost a drive shaft on the uh, the jump for the finish line. Um, that is the end of Rusky's car, sadly. Lado is still going. It looks like Officer Lado might make it. Officer Lado's got a bit of a flat police car at the moment, but <laughs> Officer Lado... We might have four cars cross the finish line. That would be fantastic. Uh, Longbow did a flip on the sp ah, Longbow did a flip on the speed bumps. That's that's where that time went. Um, Lado will launch it. Oh well, it's good enough. <laughs> the two police cars make it. Lado's is in, in all sorts of a mess. So Rusky's the only one that died. Rusky's is the only car that. Um, that went out in all of that. Uh, 
And there we go. There we go. We will claim another victory. We've had a good a good run so far in all of this. Uh, but yeah, four cars across the finish line. It really does show the pure strength of um, the 200BX. In fact, three laps. Three laps raced pretty hard as well for all of us. Um, four of them survived. Very good going indeed. Oh, hello, Kitty Cass. Hello. Yeah, I can... Well, I can't meow. Do you want to come and say hello to everybody? Like, if I move... If I move my chair... I mean, it would be very cute if we managed to get you to meow down the microphone. Guess, guess? You gonna... No, you're just gonna headbutt my leg. <laughs> you're gonna... No. No, you're not gonna come up, are you? <laughs> oh, never mind. Um... You never, you never get, you never, you never meow on cue. You just headbutt my leg because you, I mean, you're very cute. You are very cute, Cass. And you want attention. But uh, there we go. Um, a killer robot. Thank you very much for the donation. Saying hello, Alex. I finally got uh, to tune in to a driven to a destruction stream. Uh, I don't know if you are taking a request, but if you can, please, I request a race of limos. If there aren't. Uh, then, oh well. I also saw that Mr. Pebbles didn't survive Rimworld, but he was a good cat. Oh, all the cats, all the animals were fantastic. Um, oh, hello, Cass. You have a little, well, you've decided to sort of sit on my lap, but I don't know if you're going to... You're not going to meow down the microphone, are you? No, you're going to sniff the microphone instead, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Rimworld was a sad ending, but all, all cats are good cats. I don't think we have any limos, uh, unfortunately. As, as far as I'm aware, I don't think we have any... Um, uh, any limos? Amy, did you put any limo? Any, any, do any of these have a limo configuration? I don't think so. Um, I mean, I, so this does have a limo configuration, but this is a mod on my end, it's not server end. Uh, I don't think any of these have a limo. Um, oh, we'll, have, we'll have limos in for next time. We do not have limos in for this time. Um, but, uh, yeah, we can, do, we can do a final round of everyone can run what they want um, for this. Run, run what you want. Uh, I mean, I really want to do this, but we will just get, we'll get thrashed. Uh, Mondello is awesome. Uh, this might be my new favourite mod. I've not even driven it yet. It's already my new favourite mod. Um, because I, 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 the 360 Challenge is one of my favourite Ferraris. And having a 360 in a game is really cool. Um, again, SVX is something on my end, not on server end. So I cannot run that, sadly. Uh, but yeah, limos, potentially for next time, will make an appearance. What do I want to run? I mean, okay, I could be cheesy. I could be really cheesy and drive the beast. Uh, that would be a very boring way to go. Um, you know. <laughs> you could be really cheesy and drive a, a pre right one of these, but I'm not going to drive one of those. I feel like that would be just cheating. Ah, cat claws in leg. Uh, excuse me, kitty cass. Like, I don't mind you coming up here. Of course not. We want you to be able to say hello to everybody, but please don't put claws in leg. Uh, <laughs> it's not very nice, is it? Um... What do we want? Uh, I'm half tempted to go for a van again. We know the van. The van was pretty solid. Um, I mean, the bolide funny, but we, the bolides just disintegrate. I think Lombo might have got the extreme mud runner kind of custom bolide. I mean, this thing. Okay, this thing here. Looks pretty s mad. Uh, the Sand Shark off road. Um, I'm gonna have a go with it. It might the wheels might fall off, but it looks awesome. So I'm gonna take one. Uh, <laughs> we'll give it a go. Uh, neck uh, necro or neck necroptics. I'm still gonna get confused by that name, but thank you very much uh, for the donation. Saying when do we get an Apollo slash Kitty Cam? At some point, if I remember, if I've got to remember to plug my webcam in before, because if I try and plug the webcam in while the stream's running, OBS has a bit of a funny moment with it. Um, 
So that's why I tend. No, that's why I haven't done it, for example, now. But if I remember to do it beforehand, then we can have pet camera at times. Uh, I love. I love Longmo's creation. It's such a cool thing. The bolide on like the extreme off-road tires, missing a lot of the bodywork. It's such a cool vehicle. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Ah, oh, Amy has the same idea. Uh, hello. Um, speed Beast. Well, Speed Beast won't die, but just might not be very fast. Oh! Lado might... So, Lado probably won't die, although could lose a wheel. Uh, that's the... That's the difference with that one. Like, it could fall... Like, it, it'll be tough. But it could fall over. If it falls over and rolls, it could lose a wheel. Speed Beasts probably won't break, but it's just not going to be quick enough, I don't think. Because something here is going to be strong enough to make it to the end. I think Rusky has a drag hopper. Sure. What could go wrong with that? Hey, Lombo. Oh. Right. Lado's... Oh, what the hell? Oh, there okay. Never mind. That's Speed Beasts' contraption there. Uh... <laughs> Ugh. There is 100% someone's losing a wheel. There's a very good chance... Okay, Lado is the first one that I think might lose a wheel, just by virtue of the wheels are so big and that's so exposed. Oh, is it Scintilla? Okay. I, I assumed it was the Bolide, just because that's what you normally go for, but... Uh, um... It's awesome. It's, it's the same style as that bolide thing you had from the downhill. Oh yeah, I can see it's a now, actually. It's so cool, I love it. Um, but yeah, exposed wheels. My car has them. Amy's in the same car as me. Both likely to shed wheels. Lado's very likely to shed wheels. Longbow's, I don't know. I feel quite likely to shed wheels. Speed Beast and Rusky, probably not. Speed, uh, Rusky likely to die from steering. Speed Beast not likely to die, but I think will be too slow. I think one of the other vehicles will survive the three laps and beat a Stambeko. Could be wrong. You never know. Place your chat. Place your wonderful... Place your bets. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? We are about to witness, because I don't have a bloody clue. <laughs> uh, I think these aerial nomads are going to be strong. The, like, the theory is they should be strong, but I don't know about the wheels. Never driven it, so I don't know how strong the wheels are. I think there is a very good chance we'll end up on three wheels. Um, but, yeah, we shall see. Before we do get underway, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, Alex was winning in a dump truck of all things with bashing and crashing. It soon had some dings. Uh, Lado was mad and Brazen was bad, but at least we enjoyed the chaos it, being, it brings. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like... I like the limerick. Very, very good indeed. Um, nicely done. Uh, P.S. Cult of 1P rises once more. Uh, clean up uh, of this circuit to uh, Rob E. Oh, God, you wouldn't want to clean up a Driven Till Destruction circuit at the end of the day, would you? It would be a bad time. It would be a bad time indeed. Ah, oh, here we go. Now, there's a few people ambitious thinking four might finish this race. Let's see what happens. I th it's possible. I, I just think... I think too many wheels are going to fall off. Rusky's done a very big wheelie. Uh, we're going to go straight past the Stambeko. Uh, oh, God. Don't actually want to take that sort of line. Oh, we got a punt and a half through there. Rusky's got a bit of lag, although drag cars legit can fly that far. Uh, and Rusky's fallen over. So, whoa. Amy leads the way. We are in second. These nomads are pretty rapid, as expected, really. Lombo's going with us in the crazy Mad Max Scintilla. Uh, across the checkerboard we go. Not too bad. I'm just watching how much the suspension's leaning. If something breaks in that, we're having such a bad day. Lombo's going for the inside, and I can't, can't defend that. We might have a little more compliance, like over these bumps, than the Scintilla. We do. We can get the place back. Amy spun. Amy spun in front of both of us, and we sneak past. Lombo's the one in trouble. We get into the spinner's furl. The chicane first, I should say, with a little bit of oversteer on the exit there. Okay, we are fine. We are out the other side. You're going to be so ginger with the throttle here. It really wants to spin the rear wheels up. 
Now, Lombo will be quicker than us in a straight line, but you can't really use that speed. Uh, oh, dear. Well, we got longbowed pretty hard in the air there. However, we are fine. So Lombo took that jump a little bit faster than we were going to. It's fair enough. <laughs> Lombo just wanted a bit more speed over that jump than I did. And uh, the air... I'm impressed with the wheel strength of this car. Because that could have very easily torn a wheel off. Uh, that could easily taken a wheel off my car and put us out. But it didn't. And that is what matters. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Behave yourself. Nomad. I can't actually remember what the thing was called. It was Blackpool something, but uh, I did not pay attention. Uh, we have got to go chasing this. So we've got to do this the hard way now. Longbow just has to not wreck the car. We have to chase down. We can't take it easy because I think Longbow will finish. I can't imagine Longbow will break down. So, yeah, we've got to actually push our vehicle much more towards its limits than Longbow does to uh, catch up. We're good over the speed bumps, I'll tell you what. We have caught Longbow, so Longbow's been probably taking it easy just to protect the car. Can't take it easy any longer because we are here. Uh, it's on edge, the steering. Something is not right with my car. It doesn't drive as well as it did on the first lap. Something's bent, something's buckled. Uh, oh, I thought about sending it to the outside, but... Uh, did not quite have the control going into the water, so backed off just to make sure I didn't do any more damage. Where will we find a way past? I mean, the speed bump section we're good at. We've got better suspension travel than Longbow. Oh, and Longbow's, Longbow's got it wrong through this corner. We are good over the Toblerones. We saw last lap around. Once more, we are on the outside of Longbow, but that's a big car. I'm not going to have an argument with that coming into the spinners. Uh, there, because we will lose that fight. Round the hairpin we go. Longbow's up against the fence. There's no real room for an overtake on that lower line. Longbow has better acceleration off the corner than we do. Uh, I just don't get to the throttle too much. You don't want to hit this at 70. Longbow's twisting in the air. Oh, Longbow's big smash on the landing. We hit pretty hard. Longbow's landed it quite well. Longbow has landed that one quite well. I don't know if the steering's okay, though. We will... <laughs> <laughs> we will take the lead of the race away again. Lombo's in a very heavily modified scintilla. Uh, it barely looks like a scintilla anymore. Uh, it's just, yeah. It is a, a Mad Max scintilla. Lado's overheated. That's not what I expected at all to go on that truck. Lado's out with overheating on lap two. Rusky is circulating, although barely. That's, uh, that's a very... <laughs> That's a very minimal amount of circulating for a, a Rusky there. I like this thing. This is cool. So again, another really cool mod. There are many cool mods on uh, Beam, let's not forget. Uh, my, is my rear suspension okay? I'm not sure. But uh, I, re I am... This is a bit on edge driving it. I mean, I don't... Ooh, don't need to push it that hard. I can tell you that much. Uh... We have got a massive lead, actually. Yeah, it is Amy and Longbow battling for second place over there. We did not need to push it quite that hard. <laughs> I think we might just back it off a little bit here uh, for the remainder of this race because I don't need to. We've built that lead up when it mattered. It was a great fight with Longbow until a big crash at the shafted jump. I'm pretty sure broke the steering or severely damaged the steering. Um, and while we are a little bit poorly on that from the roll the previous lap, uh, it is nowhere near as bad as it could be. Uh, but yeah, the handling department, this is pretty, pretty damn good, actually. I mean, it, it's, it's a bit of a lunatic, but the Nomad is supposed, the Aerial Nomad is a bit of a lunatic. Like, it is true to life, so to speak. I mean, this is the fastest spec as well. You don't have to have a, uh... This, this spec vehicle in beep if you want something a little bit more controllable. Uh, I am slightly concerned we might break something on this final lap. Because, I mean, this is still a big jump. You know, regardless of what you are driving, that is putting a huge amount of load through the suspension. Um, as we head through the next couple of corners, let's see what happens. As long as we can get over Dover... I mean, even if we lose an oil pan now, doesn't really matter. Um, 
and we are over Dover with no problems at all. We are not quite going to lap Speed Beast. Looks like Speed Beast is uh, just going to be far enough away. Rusky has managed to move a little bit. Oh no, Speed Beast is not far enough away. Speed Beast. Uh, that Rusky's bodywork that's on fire. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was Speed Beast on fire. No, that's just bits of Rusky's vehicle that are on fire. The Stambeco. You see, the Stambeco might still be going. It doesn't matter. We are going to essentially lap it, and we will win! <laughs> the Aerial Nomad claims a victory. What a car. This thing is awesome. I like it. It's very... It was, it was slightly broken on the steering front that did make it a tad difficult. Um, however, a very capable vehicle. A very capable vehicle indeed, and some celebratory donuts for this here. Uh, oh, it looks like Amy will get second place with the other one. Hers looks a lot worse shape than mine. I think that's got some heavy steering damage. And that's what we expected to see more from these. We expected to see, oh, more bent and twisted wheels. That is a hell of a crash across the line. Um... I don't think Amy's would have gone much further from that crash. Although you might have, you probably wouldn't have sent it quite so hard across the line, but still. Uh, oh, Longbow wreck, uh, wrecked Amy's steering. Where is Longbow? Speak of the devil. Uh, Longbow. Oh, dear. Oh, Longbow's crazy scintilla has died, I think. And the wheels are not pointing the right way. And there's a lot of steam. I think that's overheated and chonked. Ah. <laughs> oh, Longbow T-boned a rolling Amy. Yeah, that's gonna kill it. <laughs> that's that's gonna go badly. Um, Speed Beast, like, the, the Stambeco's still going. It's gonna finish. Um, it is it is going to finish, but yeah, I'm really surprised Lado's overheated. That seems surprised. It's, it's odd for that to die so quickly for that sort of vehicle, but uh, yeah, that, that let go. I guess it, it's also too high, it can't get cooled going through the water, which is slightly less than ideal. Um, but there we go. Uh, Renier Otten? I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly, but thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, saying, I suggest the next round Alex has to send it from the get-go. Uh, unfortunately, that is the final round, I believe, for today. However, um, next time, we will, there will be another one of these. Um, for next week, I am sure, and we will. I will absolutely send it. Uh, I mean, I could probably. You could probably with some of these. I had did send it, but uh, you could probably send this if you don't roll at all in the. What is it, is it, is it called? Because I've forgotten. I didn't actually ever look at the, the mod name. Uh, Blackpool Sand Shark. You could probably send that, and it'd be okay. However, when you get um, when you, it's when you roll. That's, that's what does the damage. I mean, I lost a light. That's about. I've lost a light and bent a fender. That's about all the damage. Um, yeah. It's a tough car, that. It's a really, really tough car. Um, oh, it's, it's a very fast vehicle. I don't think it's too tough if it fell over. But it is a very fast car when it is all working. And the Stambeco will finish. But, as expected, quite a long way down. Uh, Ethan, thank you very much. Uh, for the donation, saying, Evening, Alex. A fantastic stream, as always. Uh, now I need to catch up uh, with the stream on Wednesday, following some St. David's Day adventures with the traction engines. Ah, a Wednesday? I enjoyed Wednesday's stream. I'm not so sure Amy, Gliska, and Danger Man agree. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, uh, Civ, Civ was good fun. And Civ will... Can, Civ, Civ will there'll be some more Civ streams, because I, I, I love strategy games. I love Civ. Um... So there will probably be some more of that. Oh, we've been rolled over. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, but yes, enjoy. Enjoy catching up. Uh, Alex Anderson, thank you for the uh, donation. So we need an event uh, like at the end of a GTA stream, like we can survive the water or demo derby in buses or something stupid like that. Uh, we'll definitely have to... Uh, oh, Speed Beast has fallen over as well. Uh, actually, I think it's a pretty good end. Not quite as crazy, um, but we'll have a play around. Whether we come back on this one, this map next time, whether we come back on the Baja Rama circuit, not completely sure. We shall see. Um, has I lost a wheel? Oh, no, I lost a spare wheel. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do very much like this uh, this circuit. It's been good fun. It was good fun for the uh, for the racing, that is for sure. And Longbow's car... Longbow's... Oh, Longbow's lost a wheel immediately on that landing. Longbow's scintilla is very cool. Uh, Dima, 
uh, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Saying Helix and uh, Fell Ice Group. Uh, Beam NG is my favourite, yet the physics uh, not having it. Uh, that Victoria girl caused a bit of uh, a brawl. We're still waiting for <laughs> 200 quid of donation. Uh, I, I never believe anyone who puts that all. I, I don't normally believe people when they put that up in the chat because from from streaming a lot of times some people are incredibly generous and some people do stick with the silly bets they make we had someone recently who, who did stick to the silly bets that they make um but uh, yeah a lot of the time the silly bets are done just for for attention uh which is why i tend not to draw too much to it unless i you know, perhaps know the person or, or that sort of stuff so yeah not exactly a, not exactly a big surprise on uh, <laughs> on that stuff also it's a very silly bet to make when I'm having a very good evening of racing. Uh, very silly bet to make when I've been winning a lot of these. I have a huge advantage, though. I've driven countless hours around this circuit. Let's not let's not forget. Um, I have spent many hours, many more hours, probably many more hours than all of this lot put together driving around this circuit. So I do have a tremendous advantage of knowing where all the bumps are, knowing where all the, you know, the good places to, to be careful are and all that. So, yeah, uh, I have a tremendous advantage going on in this one. Uh, well, Blackpool's not great at doing damage, to be fair. Um, <laughs> however, yes, that is going to be the end of... Uh, the end of tonight's stream. I hope you have enjoyed this one. It has been uh, a lot of fun. It has been a lot of fun. I have enjoyed my Friday evening of crashing cars and there's been some good racing, some good wheels wheel racing as well in all of that. Uh, of course, big thank you to Amy for setting up the server and uh, getting all of this working because I have no clue how to do any of it. Uh, and of course, thank you to everybody who has who has donated. You know always appreciate the generosity from from all of you i think we managed to get through most of the requests most of the classes most of the vehicles that we could do in uh, in this one um and i hope you yeah i hope you've all enjoyed it of course thank you everybody for, for watching for spending your friday evening saturday morning or friday afternoon i guess depending on what part of the world you might be in uh with us for some beam shenanigans but uh yeah that is going to be it from me i'll be back on sunday with some more gta 5 hopefully uh, hopefully i'll see plenty of you there but yeah it's gonna be it for this evening until next time a uh, goodbye <laughs>